They have always told us all politics is local except when they need money to run the elections. That's when politics becomes global. It is time we take advantage of that. It is time we stand up and tell these people, you are not going to come to America, take our money, and then you stop on us. Welcome to Sherrick's Broadcast Network, the place Wusai would bring Africa live to Wusai ever you day around the globe. Of course, uh, today we want for bring come to a very special program. Uh, but before that, we want for first of all register we apologize to now for last week uh, because of unavoidable circumstances. We're not able for uh, bring come the weekly broadcast to now, of course. Uh, I know say plenty thing and they all missed last week and we know say plenty of we viewers them from around the globe that they look forward to the broadcast uh, and so we get for try for compound everything today of course uh, we they come to on a live from the studio number eight based in Houston Texas and of course I will continue to be your host on behalf of uh, Sherrick's broadcast network because Mina Ibrahim Sharif of course, my family, we're, all, we're all familiar with waiting they go on at Sierra Leone, they trend in politics. Of course, uh, suddenly we don't see after almost more than 10 years where the APC government, they violate uh, our 1991 constitution, especially section 76 one. They don't violate and throughout those years when they were in governance. Of course, it's no hidden secret. Uh, it's, it's, is blatant is out there that uh, most of the government officials we serve in the uh, APC government where individuals will be hold dual citizenship citizenship of Sierra Leone as well as citizenship of other countries 
but then serve in doing government positions for 10 years. Now, old man, they talk, say, law, na law. But what he make uh, from 2007 to 2017, law not to be law. But now, two months to the general elections, law don't become law. And so we're going to take an exclusive look at that law today, especially putting into perspective three major political parties in the country, the incumbent All People's Congress, and of course the main opposition Sierra Leone People's Party, and the uh, one political party where all man knows say now they don't target inside this constitutional enforcement, one of the National Grand Coalition, of course, specifically its presidential candidate, and no less a person but Dr. Kande Kole Yumkela. So we'll get for take an exclusive look at all of the 199 day. Of course, we'll get for get analysis of the entire process. We we'll also get for talk to the uh, the National Publicity Secretary of the SLPP, uh, winner, Mr. Lahai Lawrence Lima, for making good tell we what side the SLPP as a political party stands on this issue, especially that na, an SLPP president, late Alhaji Dr. Ahmad Jenkaba, na he initiate this idea of dual citizenship, and of course, na in sign him on October 26, 2006. And so, if we see an SLPP presidential candidate, they talk like a, it supports APC on this issue. We want for no within at the position of the SLPP on this issue. And so, now all the internet and they will get for brain camp to owner today, plus other uh, news analysis and other things that would have happened at Sierra Leone in the past week. And so, me fam with them once more, Sherrix Broadcast Network, the place Wusa would bring Africa to Wusa every day around the globe. So one for me, stick around as we continue for unfold the programs. Stick around with us. <laughs> SBM. AK. Listen. Open your eyes, free your mind. Yeah, I can really smell the fear. And now they see these cars on them. I they also feel the pain. And I can relate with you. Salon people and they suffer. Only a small few, they thief and they get richer. Salon people and they cry. And the leaders, they don't really care. But this lead is not really fair. Over 80% people below poverty. But these people ain't too selfish. How you get mad just from the kingdom they skip that kids? Because me, a minister. That means that they are above the law. Because now me, not the power. That means that you can't tell me shit. <laughs> David Sambayon, not the truth. Monologue. And they put in a, a tight place. David Sambayon, not the voice. Monologue. And they really try to cut the voice. What's it happen to democracy? What about freedom of speech? What's it happen to me, people left? Shalom, future, they get back up. Kellogg's, hold on. Let them lock me. I didn't talk the truth. When you talk true, they say not trouble. They can't for stats. Where they be lock me up? Now we smoke picking. Now two years old. I look at your eyes. I see me picking. I swear to God. Tears run down my eyes. And I ask hell I really why? For not picking out the talk, for the youth that I go die. Now me people, now me life, Lord. Then go only kill me. But me voice do not go take, Lord. Then go try for stop me. But me voice no go stop, God. Every time I they move, police want to pull me over for not bribe, then go kill me, man. Big people they piss the streets, can't get gathered in the streets. Wait till I beat we count your man. Hey, for no mama, I'm in the streets, I'm in the streets, I'm in the living. Ha! Teachers in the sleep of students, religious leaders and they worship devils. Picking the cause, mommy cause, and they think it's cool, what's it happen to we call your mind? Ha! I see close friends, they turn to foes. Foes, then they get closer. Forget the fame, forget the money, this stuff for me, people. If I don't make a difference, I go see me dead and equal. Every time I close my eyes, I defend them my dreams. I they all 
always come on top to tell me as not me dreams They say me people and they fed me Now why me brother want for hurt me He didn't take me name to Juju Why you want for do me for do Why you know they believe in you God, Lord Sell on people let we get real Let we open all we death is Let we stop for vote for tribal reasons You from the south I mean you have some pee You from the north I mean you APC Let we never make the same mistake Let we never vote for tribal sake Now we the push the number one and the two just next What it happen to cleaning day Now government we need for clean the place More streets than they smell like feces And now we sell to the use like pieces Right, of course, um, if I'm with a righteous message, that now black gold. Of course, if I'm with a say black gold, now uh, na a very righteous brother. Of course, they always stand for the truth. And of course, now that you don't just do in that song, that piece of song, wake up, wake up, Sierra Leone. Of course, this is not the time where Sierra Leone for wake up. And of course, this broadcast here, so we did start time today with a special appeal to uh, all the Sierra Leoneans where they, especially in the diaspora, way, you know, then they make meaningful contributions to the country Sierra Leone, you know, because we know one for all, uh, you left sit on politicians, then they dismiss your how important you are, you know, as a Sierra Leonean, you know, regardless of the fact that you did abroad, you did thousands of miles away from Sierra Leone. But we know what thing you they do, particularly how you, which meaningful contributions where you they do to Sierra Leone. So we're not gonna allow anybody for able for dismiss the fact that you are very important in the country, because ultimately, if it don't the rumor small small for say you know politicians they in Sierra Leone they in, they're not like Sierra Leoneans the way they abroad, we Sierra Leoneans the way you know where they abroad they're not like we too much you know and and now some of we don't begin for see that one day you know I don't know if then the fee say would they threaten their jobs or would they try for take away jobs them from them I don't know if not so that they feel but the most important thing is that uh, we get for no say. You know, when somebody born a country, a born a Sierra Leone, in Mama de de, in Papa de de, or in Grandpa de de, or na de in family, then born a na de been de, right? The mere fact that it don't pledge allegiance to other country, not me say you go pull and come up at that country. Any country, but all the countries within the world, when you read their constitutions, and it is a crime for let any law na any country try for discriminate against the natural born citizens of that particular country when when i do that one day in a criminal act you know not a discrimination and is punishable by international law right you know for discriminate against person even in a place like a united states all day when you don't become a naturalized citizen in the u.s the united states not to ever stop you for let be a citizen of your country of birth now make by any small document where they feel whether you they go fill job application or you they fill application for going to school, then get a small side where they ask you what is your country of birth, right? Because they know say you're not a citizen. Are you a U.S. citizen? You say yes. What is your country of birth? Then you put on Sierra Leone or any other country where you come out because they know they discriminate. Now you see. Pakistanis them, you know, Indians, uh, you get uh, you get Chinese, you get all them people there. They're all not citizens, not in countries them. Then they go back, most of them can go to now for elections and all of that. Now only in we in Sierra Leone they try for prevent we own brothers and sisters. You know, some man can talk in envy because man be don't come abroad, they are abroad, they able for do little and nothing for infamble them. So you don't envy them, you know and for let be part of the political process. So this na in get for be the premise of the conversation I have so today. We get for digest this information, uh, this whole process, this whole dual citizenship issue. Now we could on, you know, we get plenty of information we we'll get for share with you now today. 
So, I found them, I know say, when I ready for let will take this train here, so for let will continue for uh, get this information out today. And I know I'm for let's say, and they want to sit by and say, oh, the problem will solve itself. This problem will not solve itself. And you know, we some of we be done the beginning talk this ever since. That, you know, when you look at, you know, when people that can compare APC and as being the two political parties then from independence, now they normal we don't sabi, now then they rule we. So people that they compare between the two. Me not they ever compare between these two political parties in as much as we they encourage other political parties for coming, like the one that we don't come in. But when it comes to governance, these two political parties don't operate the same way at all. Right? First of all, APC as a political party, they continue for struggle with this idea of democracy because they are not used to it they are used to dictatorship they are used to communist style of governance so they are not used to democracy at all wherein the citizens get direct involvement in the affairs of their country they are not used to that so we get for continue for cities but we for don't know by now for say from 1961 to 2018 that we are having this broadcast today APC as a political party is not on record for organize a peaceful, free, fair, transparent, and credible democratic elections. Somebody else win, we're not to the win, then take that government, hand them over to that person peacefully without boost, boost without intimidation. You know, when they happen, we all know the history, it has never happened. So, why do we as Sierra Leoneans then feel say? This 2018 election will go on without intimidation, without political practices, without violence, without all these things. We never expected that. So we get for just tighten up with belts. We get for ready for this last two uh, few weeks where we get for go to this election. And we get for keep with eyes open because every day the APC get for unleash the 99 tactics. So, if we want for with democracy, we don't hold them after the war, we don't hold them fine one with the crango kele kele, but it look like they want for mess her up now. So, from then, that get for be the premise of this conversation today. So, we want for me to stick around as we continue for bringing the program. We'll get for going to the newsroom, and from there, we'll get for you know, talk about a few other things, right? So, stick around with us as we continue to bring the programs to you. Stick around. Shariks Broadcast Network News Sports Weather Business and Finance Technology, Culture and More Tell us your story Let's debate Let's stand on issues Let's defend democracy in Africa on SBN Live. Shirik's Broadcast Network. We lead, others follow. Shirik's Broadcast You are watching Shirik's Broadcast Network. was really talented. He's a doctor with a difference. Yes, it's going to take some time to set it to bring the hospital back to uh, its, its glorious days. It's, it's, it's going to take some time. Oh, the late doctor Martin Saliame is so resting perfect place. He had passion for the job. He wanted this hospital to be the best in this country. He wanted to be the best, see this hospital as uh, uh, the center of excellence in this country. We need to check each and every individual, what you are doing. What are you offering in your own small corner that you could brighten that corner? How are you contributing in one way or the other to promote this place? He is the kind of person, even, even a porter that is working in his office, 
Sometimes you tell it, but I go and bring me the broom today, I'm going to sweep. Yes. But if the public didn't appreciate that, that whenever somebody has this kind of presentation, they should come. Because don't forget, by the time you have one contact in the disease, people are going to take care of a dead. Avoiding hiding, taking care of that dead. Don't forget, by the time people are dead with the Ebola, they are more infectious than all. So if they take care of their burial or their own, 10 more will be infected. Broadcast Network. You are watching Sherex Broadcast Network. Of course, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Sherex Broadcast Network coming to you live from uh, Houston, Texas. Of course, from studio number two, uh, studio number eight, actually. Of course, uh, we are in our newsroom now. And of course, next uh, we are going to bring you, uh, you know, an exclusive health report. Of course, family uh, and I want to talk to you. I want for level to bring health, uh, you know, tips them to una. Of course, not that we get for do right about this time, uh, so that uh, you go able for the watch your health for no way till they go on with your health. You know, I'm just, you know, a day without watching your health, right? And so, uh, one for me stick around without. Uh, I mean, uh, stick around as we make that happen right about this time. Stick around with us. This is Sherex Broadcast Network's Health Watch exclusive. Please watch your health. Thank you for watching. ingredients to clear clogged arteries clogged arteries is a common condition it's characterized by plaque buildup in your blood vessels more specifically the plaque clogs the arteries that go to your brain this can result in a dangerous restriction of blood flow as a result oxygen and nutrients don't get to your tissues and organs like they should this results in more dangerous conditions these conditions can include cerebral hemorrhaging, heart attacks, or coronary artery disease. What scares most experts are the so-called silent killers, the main reason is because of how they develop. They don't have any discernible symptoms, or, sometimes these diseases are confused with other diseases, this makes it hard to properly diagnose and treat them. The people who are at the most risk for these silent killers are smokers, and both sedentary and overweight people. But, these diseases are also common among other types of people, this includes those who have both type 1 and 2 diabetes, arthritis, and various infections. The good news is that arterial blockages can be avoided, this is thanks to some essential nutrients which help to clean your arteries. 1. Garlic Milk Garlic contains sulfurous substances and antioxidants. They reduce the amount of lipids in the arterial walls. This widens the blood vessels and increases blood flow. Better circulation means your tissues get the nutrients and oxygen they need. 
Ingredients 3 cloves garlic 1 cup 250 ml milk Preparation Mince the garlic Put the garlic and milk in a saucepan Bring the milk to boil Stir constantly to avoid scalding it Allow it to cool Drink it before going to bed 2. Golden milk Alternative medicine calls the mixture of turmeric, honey, and milk golden honey. This mixture has both antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Drinking golden milk on a regular basis helps to prevent blood clots. Drinking this can also increase blood circulation. The more your blood flows, the easier it is for your body to get rid of fats and toxins. Also, the natural ingredients it has reduced bad cholesterol levels and prevent the hardening of arterial walls. Ingredients 1 teaspoon, 5g, of ground turmeric. 1 tablespoon, 25g, of honey. 1 cup, 200 ml, of hot milk. Preparation Add the turmeric to the hot milk, sweeten with the honey. Drink one or two times a day, you should drink this at least three times a week. 3. Cayenne Pepper Cayenne pepper has a substance called capsaicin, this helps to avoid the oxidation of bad cholesterol in blood vessels. It also has antioxidants that fight against the negative effects of free radicals, they also increase your circulation and help to prevent heart disease. Ingredients 1 slash 2 teaspoon, 2 g, of cayenne pepper. 1 cup, 250 ml, of hot water. Preparation. Bring the water to a boil, add the cayenne pepper. Let it rest for a few minutes, drink it 2 times a day. Drink it for 2 weeks to get the best of the cleansing effects. 4. Ginger. Ginger root is an anti-inflammatory remedy. It increases blood flow and reduces the oxidation of bad cholesterol. Its compounds reduce the risk of arterial blockage and prevent oxidative harm. Both of these can cause heart disease. Ingredients 1 tablespoon, 5 g, of grated ginger. 1 cup of hot water. Preparation Add the ginger to boiling water, let it sit for 5 minutes. Strain the water and drink three times a day. Drink the same amount every day for at least three weeks. 5. Linseed Linseed is one of the best natural remedies for heart health and inflammation. This is because of its alpha-linolenic acid content. These special fatty acids clean fats from clogged arteries. They also prevent fats from hardening because of oxidation. Ingredients 2 tablespoons, 20 g, of linseed. 1 cup, 200 ml, water. Preparation. Add the linseed to the water and let it sit overnight. The next day, strain the water and drink it for breakfast. Drink this every day for a month. Are you worried about your heart health? Try some of these natural remedies, and remember to take them regularly. This is Sherrick's Broadcast Networks, Health Watch Exclusive. Please watch your health. Thank you for watching.
right? Of course, uh, me fam with them. Of course, uh, welcome back to Sherrick's Broadcast Network. Of course, we will continue for Cantona now live and direct from Houston, Texas. And of course, uh, uh, we are, you know, uh, convinced that uh, you did with we as we will continue for bringing the programs then to now. Of course, uh, right from the newsroom today, of course, uh, we get for exhaust the uh, dual citizenship issue. Of course, I know say plenty of people that get for call into the studio today. So we got we get for you know bring up the number for let people then call in and profile their views on the issue because we are all Sierra Leoneans and of course nobody can take you away from your country of birth. Now that you born, now that your parents then born you, now they then day, you family then day, you did make contributions to the country by sending money over to the country where they help the country for stimulating the economy. And so no rogue politicians can exempt you from that. In fact, it is a crime for let anybody make laws where they discriminate against people that were then born at their country. We don't want to see that one they happen any sign at the world. Only in Sierra Leone because we in a retrogression with it. So we're not going to allow that for happen in Sierra Leone. And so, uh, family, when I want to ready for let we'll talk about this exclusive issue today. Uh, again, for very exclusive, uh, exclusive. But family, then last week um, we bring come to a quiz, and of course, uh, we'll not be provide answer to that quiz because we'll not be receive anybody in response. You know, why should they watch then here? So we go find for let we we'll refresh with memories on a uh, Sierra Leone as a country, our history, our governance systems or our system of government, we get for the refresh with memory. So the quiz last week was uh, right here. You know, when was the Sierra Leonean parliament built? When was the Sierra Leonean parliament built? Which then they build the Saloon parliament? We now this parliament, now I don't bring up all this uh, 1991 constitution, Wahala again. And of course, uh, the 2006 uh, Citizenship Act. So if you want for, you know, demonstrate you met to your understanding, your historical memory a little bit about Sierra Leone, please do it. I'm not going to Google, oh, not going to Google. If you're going to Google, you don't rogue. You don't cheat. You don't have to let anybody go to Google. Because if you go there, you don't cheat. You don't cheat. No, you got to be honest with yourself. You know, be honest with yourself. Stop typing in your phone right now for let you put the answer. You know, we just want for me to get her if you able to forget her, right? Of course, so that is the uh, quiz. And of course, we'll get for provide the answer to that quiz they ask to go into the program. Uh, so we want for may you just stick around as we go ahead for bring the program stem to now. And of course, uh, we'll get for bring come some news to now. Of course, this week here, so me fam with them. Plenty, plenty political activities they don't take place in Freetown and Sierra Leone. Of course, you know, saying a nomination week, uh, most political parties then they, they don't begin the nominations uh, uh, from last week onto this week, and so the nomination continues, right? And so the first party we will get for look at now the APC waiting then self do big big rally been there in Freetown. But plenty of people that they talk say now pay then pay for them people and they now import the import then well we know how for buy into that. The fact remains that. During nomination day, all the political parties and the whole rally. So we start with the APC first. How they be holding rally, right? Right inside Freetown, my family. So stick around as we bring that particular program to you. Stick around with us.
right, of course, I'm a na Dr. Samura Kamara and Sherry Koko. Now, then they're in Freetown right there on their nomination day in Freetown. Of course, it looks like to say any one part political party that will come out there, they get crowd behind them. So that is how it is. Of course, you know, like I've been watch one video on WhatsApp where this woman had to tell me, say, wear APC t shirt. So they ask him, they say, you know, if they vote for APC, now you say, well, no, again, your political party. He said, but wait to make you wear the APC t shirt. He said, but now give them, give me. If you say, if they give me clothes, I'm not going to wear them. So it look like saying that that one they don't go on plenty inside free tour, you know. Uh, then they give them t shirt they're out. We we'll see who side the boxes, then they will side the t shirt, and they inside where they shape shape up. So, but anyway, this is the time where salon people they now want money, you know, when I get for it time. For 10 years, when I know it's this money, so if the money they can now. When I eat, when I eat, but when I get for no side, when I the Ibam. But anyway, so Dr. Samura Kamara, presidential candidate for the APC, if they make a small speech on sideway, I don't know what to make it. talk about the fact say, na President Anes by Chroma, na in recommend can the Kolayum Kela for be the for work na United Nations, and so I don't know if it be one for le. President Anes by Chroma get credit for that one day, or a one for letting APC as a political party get credit for that. But the fact remains that it is a requirement of every uh, government or every country that when a, your citizen don't get a high profile job like that one day, they don't promise them for say that they get a high profile job like the one with Ngi Kande Yumkela, you get two choices for do. Either you recommend them or you not recommend them. And if you know they recommend them, your reasons for not recommending that person should be based on a fact. It should not be based on discrimination. It should not be based on a lies or dishonesty. It should be based on fact. But again, if you get for recommend that person, it should also be based on fact. It should be based on honesty. It is a requirement, not to foresee a privilege. Even though now we own country, then they make us a privilege for say, oh, now if me get for recommend that man, they are not recommend that because me ain't to get so so so. Even though they no say that person they qualify for that position, but they no go recommend that anyway. So now the international arena, it is left with the leadership in Sierra Leone or Africa for me to see what I go go na that place there. But anyway, Samora Kamara talks say na they recommend that. Let us see what in Samora be they talk about that. You need to is there? Come there. Now we recommend that President Kuruma recommended him twice. Because when you have a job in the international arena, you must be recommended by your whole country before that job is given to you. We did it twice in the first round, and we did it the second time in the renewal. You need to is there. Come there. Now we recommend that. President Kuruma recommended him twice. Because when you have a job in the international arena, you must be recommended by your whole country before that job is given to you. We did it twice in the first round, and we did it the second time in the renewal. You know, All right. You know, and so let us let us assume that okay, you did it. You when I recommend Kande, when I do it twice. But let us ask the question: What you make? When I be recommend them, when I be recommend them because when I feel say go do a good job, when I be feel say go able represent Sierra Leone well, when I be feel say it go be a very good fit for the job, right? I mean, you not go tell you and say you recommend the man on fallacy, on dishonesty. You recommend him because you knew that he would do the job. That's what I understand from that. And don't take it personal for say it is. It was your requirement. Because you guys were in governance. If not any other political party be there in governance, then they still ask them. And because of the fact that Kandi Yomkela was citizen of Sierra Leone, it is incumbent upon the sitting government to do that recommendation because United Nations get for be sure for see this person at this country come out. So I don't know why Dr. Samura Kamara they mentioned this whole thing. You see how people that they think, I mean, you know, this is what I tell people. When they don't give you certain positions, you get to be very careful with the common you motto they talk. Because your statement, every sentence where you utter is like a policy statement you are making. 
right? So now people then go begin to analyze, okay, if this man they talk so, this is the mentality of his style of governance. Now the way this, this man they think. So if we a government, now so he go to think what they doing work. Because as educated as you are, Dr. Samura Kumara, me not if you say you go out for take a personal, you know, praise for recommending Kande to the United Nations. If you did it, you should know that it was a requirement for you to do it. You should have chosen not to do it. And you should have based your reason not to do it on merit, on honesty. For say this Maya, I'm not gonna guarantee and for lay wokra wokra because of A, B, C, Z. Right? But you recommended him. And so if you want for take a praise for recommending candidate, it means it was dubious. Because you be no say Kanye not go able to do that job, but you recommend that anyway, because of whatever relationship that was between you and Kanye. But of course, we all don't see what Kanye do now. You need to, and so we not get any question for say he was not capable for the job. So if you guys chose him, then of course you did it right. But now there is something where they happen in the APC, where the APC they not they agree for 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 agree on or agree to there is a very serious internal wound within the APC as a political party because plenty of we found with it, you know like yesterday I left Sudan I get call from one of uh, from me own sister anyway me own sister me one of my sister I did on and us I call me he said brother he say right now they're not pay with it and this election where they come, the way they see things they go, me I want go Kenema. But we need some money for able for buy buy things for Kergo. Right? So anyway, I'll be able for send something for her. But what I'm saying here is that even within the S the APC as a political party, there is this dishonesty in there. I mean, there is internal problems in there. How much more now would as we go close to the election, it get forget bad. And of course, yesterday we see by the APC rally, uh, day before yesterday, we see where Fritton, I mean, in a broad daylight, according to traditional believers, they say, but na net the commot. But when you see bat commot santem, in the middle of the city, downtown, na the cotton tree, then they all over the place, pant up the APC rally. They say, na bad omen who, well, we don't know what's in at this omen. We just pray to the Almighty God for letting it not happen. But it looked like so we don't begin to see small, small what's in happen. Let us see what's happen between the APC, APC to APC. Let's see that. Right now, they're perfect. They want to themselves. As you see, right now, they're perfect. So they serve to themselves. So, so they're not still perfect. Right, right now, main Campbell Street. Just want to Mr. Ahmed, the right to have. So they figure the right to the perfect. Right down. Right side right on the defeat by close to um, um, Uncle Abu and Shopee and by that boutique. Right side right, on the side of the right side of the defeat. To the safe, to the safe. Right now, the people are They want to go to the safe. As you see, right now, the defeat. To the safe, to the safe. So, so they are still the defeat. Right, right now, main Campbell Street. Just want to Mr. Ahmed, the right side of the video, the right side of the defeat. Right down. Right side on the defeat by close to um, um, uh, Uncle Abu and Shopee and by that boutique. Right side on the side of the right side of the defeat. To the safe, to the safe. Right now the people are fed. They want to the safe. As you see, right now the defeat. To the safe, to the safe. So, so they are still the defeat. Right, right now. Main Campbell Street. Just want to Mr. Ahmed the right side of the video, the right side of the defeat. Right down. Right side on the defeat by close to um, um, uh, Uncle Abu and Shopee and by that boutique. Right side on the side of the right side of the defeat. To the safe, to the safe. Right now the people are fed. They want to the safe. As you see, right now the defeat. To the safe, to the safe. So, so they are still the defeat. Right, right now. Main Campbell Street. Just want to Mr. Ahmed the right side of the video, the right side of the defeat. Talk 
Oh, my family. Anyway, that other video is going to come, but when I don't see exactly which they go on a free tour, just like how they tell Una, which they go on a free tour right about this time, of course, uh, people that they pan fed among themselves, you know? Uh, people that they fed fed among themselves, and we don't know what is happening with that. So, me fam with them, just like how they talk, uh, you know, plenty of we fam with them, then they wear them t-shirt they are, not to because they like the party the way then they wear them t-shirt here for. But not because of the fact, say, you know, that the time this way they serve, they make them, they make get small size for it, and get them clothes for wear, and all of that. So, we get a typical example of this kind of thing where they happen at Freetown, so let me read this one. I mean, it look funny, but it necessary. They give you a snapshot or they give you a glimpse of an idea about how the politics they go, how the campaign they go, right? So let's see that as well. Una all cow. Let me have it. Una, say it's a guna. That's all. It's a guna. For let the person not be bad. So, na APC day. Na APC day. Yeah, this. Ah, that maybe. Okanapati. Okanapati. Na ni day. So, so why you wear APC clothes today? Na ki dey give me for nothing. Thank you. If you go give me, I go wear up. If give me, I go wear up. But me party, na me party. Thank you, um. I go shock. So now, so we are enjoying today. We are bokku. We are doing so too. I know for them, but I take half and half. Oh, you take half and half. Why not say I'm not saying yes? I get me party on Saturday. I come in Shoba one half. So you want to tell me you need to vote for EPC? Daddy, no, no. Let me first. So let let him vote. Me no me party. Me party. Then party we are calling him. Me no more. Me party. So I'm the Okada. You. Okada. Now now you party that day. It's not that 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 party. Now make up. I make quick a cosu. You are watching Sharex Broadcast Network. Right, so family, we don't see that. So that is exactly what is happening in Freetown, you know? Of course, APC, wear the APC t shirts, you get the APC red whistle in neck. Because you know, say when the which is another we should then they blow for let like, you know team one. So this is what is going on. That's the politics. So people don't get for no until we see the final result of this election come out. We don't know who that get for win. <laughs> but you know, Alex Alo people they self after five years, that one term where they can't wait for chap outside and they do up. I don't blame them because they're not supposed to suffer. We get all the resources in the country. Our people are not supposed to suffer, but then they suffer unavoidably because of how we uh, we lead us. Then they do things. So then say, well, this one term don't count. Of course, they're not going to joke. They are going to do things, right? So that is what is happening. Of course, next step uh, we got for talk about the coalition for change. When are the C for C? Of course, we don't say C for C. Then say they don't come up big time. Then they do things. One thing we are they admire about the C for C. Then come inside the game late. But it look like, say, they are ready. They are ready. You know, are they admire their technology? Are they admire their public relations? And once you wouldn't get back, then get plenty, plenty lawyers there inside that party. Day. All the top, top lawyers there. I know some of them. You know, I know Mr. Ali is candy within at San Francisco, Nami Bra, I know him. Of course, Kevin Mexico, they London, I know him. Of course, I know the other guy, they all when are lawyers inside the C4C. So then, say, let us see waiting, then do this week here. Let's see that exclusively, right? C for me, a C for me, C for C. Freedom is coming tomorrow. Sam Smaller, like a true freedom fighter, he fight for the constitution and win. Sam Smaller, in good heart and in love for country, will make her a good president. This election when it comes March 7, 2018, the only person we qualify for be the next president of Sierra Leone now Sam Sumana. Sam Sumana now somebody will know the country better than the one. Sam Sumana will be able to pull me from all this Yapao Depa as a nation. Sam Sumana, na true freedom fighter. Sam Sumana, nation first. C4C, 
All right, freedom is coming, freedom is coming, freedom is coming. Of course, then get us something from South Africa, of course. But freedom is coming, that's why the coalition for change they talk. And you see, coalition for change, then they talk more, then they talk language where they resonate with Sierra Leoneans living in the diaspora as well. Then say, then get that mentality for say, there is a pool of talents in the diaspora. Sierra Leoneans, they're waiting at the diaspora. Of course, you know. I want for follow them small on that. I mean, looking at the fact for say, where did they talk about Sierra Leoneans the way they in the diaspora? First of all, you don't really check yourself. You where they talk that talk, whether you're not government operative. You know, why be they listen to the government spokesman, Cornelius uh, Devor? Where did he talk? They, oh, we, we, we did not pay due diligence to that clause in the 1991 constitution because we assumed that, you know, those people who vied for positions to uh, go to parliament and who were given cabinet positions, we assumed that they were Sierra Leoneans and they were not holding dual citizenship. Cornelius, how can you base government operation on assumption? You they assume so many that you not get any process in place for able for guide you as you they do your job for the people them. You not get policies and procedures as government where you they use for do your job. You they assume. So you see the way where APC then they talk. Then can they talk to people that see if we all not dumb. I mean, we all don't go to school. We're not to dummy them. We understand. As you say, John is a boy. We're able for analyze them and know exactly what they talk about. You they tell we say they assume. So many that you don't even know what they do. And that is the reason why people are angry with you guys. Because every day we want to open, we want to motto, we want to talk. We want to talk something where they plunge, we want into problems. That's what I see happening with the APC. From the president, Kando, anyone part of the way talk. Even the one where they say, now nah, you don't bring this, uh, you know, constitutional stuff. You know, uh, Joseph, uh, uh, Joseph Fitzgerald, come on. In such a way, they talk, anytime where they talk about the law, and they left gaps. Even though we're not a lawyers there, but we they consult with lawyers then, then they guide with it, they tell you what they go on. Right? So Cornelius Devo, so look at that. And so some of the new political parties that don't identify say Sierra Leoneans, the way they're not the diaspora, then get a pool of talents. Because if there was a level playing field in Sierra Leone, wherein Sierra Leone not get no need for the which side for the out of Sierra Leone. You know, like when you go to Saudi Arabia, people then they, you know, foreigners then and then they work for them citizens then. The citizens they know they work too much. That's how Sierra Leone should have been. Because we get so much blessing where God don't give it that we for just enjoy people that they work for we. The country is small, we population small, God don't endow we. You know? And so at the kind of goal with their new political parties and small. Even though not to declare sure they make for them, I'm not endorsing any one of them because I have to stay the way I am. But I am just saying that when they don't begin to identify the pool of talents where they are abroad and they try for encourage them for come back into the country, I think it's a good message that. Right? So let us listen to the chairman of the Coalition for Change, C4C. Now North America and see what in a talk about exclusively, right? Let's see that. I yeah. believe that all Sierra Leoneans in the diaspora have a right to vote, which is why it was c 4 c that piloted the first lawsuit against the National Elections Commission, a lawsuit that me and Kevin and other members of the C4C team put together so that Sierra Leoneans in the diaspora will have the right to vote. That right, ladies and gentlemen, is a constitutional right. Someone teasingly asked me, Ali, why is it that three of the top members of C4C are lawyers? There's Jude, there's uh, Kevin, there's me, and a bunch of others in Sierra Leone. My response was this, so that the next president of Sierra Leone that C4C helps elect understands one thing, we ain't gonna let you break the law. We at 
possibly believe that the diaspora, that's me and you and everyone here, is a gold mine of talents and experiences that several you needs to tap into in order to take the great leap forward. We believe that the diaspora has been rendered unable to fully participate in governance and transfer its skills by government policies that create a non-thriving environment. We believe that the diaspora's inability to take part in the development of our nation is hampered by the fact that they are largely being ignored by successive All People's Congress and Sierra Leone People's Party governments. And it is because, as they claim, we are not in Sierra Leone. But guess what? They have always told us all politics is local except when they need money to run the elections. That's when politics becomes global. It is time we take advantage of that. It is time we stand up and tell these people, you are not going to come to America, take our money, and then misgovern us. The diaspora, me, and you, and everyone here, you know that $100 you sent for your auntie, and the $200 you sent for your mother, and the $400 you sent to pay someone's school fee in Sierra Leone? Well, let me tell you how much that amounts to. It amounts to almost a half a billion dollars of contribution from the diaspora into Sierra Leone economy. We need to have a right and a say in Sierra Leone's politics and governance. You see for me, I see for you. Right, you see, for me, I see for you that now Mr. Aliu Iskandri Esk, of course, attorney at law, uh, now in the talk about the C4C, he's the chairman of the Coalition for Change, now North America. Of course, they articulate squarely on the importance of uh, Sierra Leoneans in the diaspora and waiting what they do. Of course, plenty, plenty, plenty. If we're not be sending money in the salon, can you imagine? How the economy for don't in that country but anyway those are things we'll talk about but for now stick around with us you are watching sharex broadcast network you are watching Sherex Broadcast Network. Because uh, Sherex Broadcast Network, we come to now live from studio number eight based in Houston, Texas. Mina Ibrahim Sharif uh, hosting Una today. Of course, next we get for talk to, we get for go to the, the National Grand Coalition. You know, National Grand Coalition. I don't know what they call them, coalition, and not be just come together and form one coalition. National Grand Coalition, Coalition for Change. Why didn't you guys come together? In fact, we were initially for say, uh, I like this. I'm a Samsung candidate. Get for come together. But anyway, so now we get two coalitions. So let's see what is going to happen. So Dr. Kande Kole Yomkela and the National Grand Coalition, they were the main target of the 1991 constitutional enforcement by the APC government. Now, now in more be the target because the reason is simple and clear. Dr. Kande Kole Yomkela in message don't begin to resonate with the disgruntled APC members on a very large scale. It don't begin to dent into the APC votes, not the, not the North and the Northwest. Plenty APC people, they disgruntled, they don't begin to left their party, then they cross over to Kande Yomkela. So, as a strategy, the APC then get for embark on a very radical approach for many able for, you know, disqualify Kande Yomkela from the presidential aspiration we get. And what did they do? Then question in citizenship. But Kande Yonkela was very smart enough for don't take care of that problem before then they even know. And of course, we know see this past week, Kande Yonkela began for call a press conference and talk to Fambude about in in um, in denunciation of an American citizenship. Now we get for look at Kande from the time where he don't do that denunciation all the way coming to now. And of course, then we will go into analysis. But Fambude few things they will need for Claire Small. You know, like in America, one thing, just the car I don't talk before inside this broadcast here, when you become citizen of United States, 
you know they lost the citizenship of your country of birth. Pass your country in now reject you. But you become a citizen of US, you can still be citizen of Naya, you be citizen of your country. The only thing you get for pledge allegiance to uh, to uh, the to United States for say if they need power war and they need people then for go fetch now they go support or for any situation you go support them so that we understand but your citizenship now your country you know they lost some at all so let people then for you know I don't hear some politicians they don't begin to talk say oh when you be citizen in America that means you don't lose your citizenship now your country no you have not it is only your country now we go reject you. Just like how the APC they do now to brothers and sisters them, right? They're not the, you know they lost the citizenship at all. So that now one fact we we'll need for establish. And of course, in America, you, where, because of circumstances, where you don't denounce your citizenship, you can do it temporarily. And then when you want them back, you can come back and get them. They can give you, as long as you don't get criminal record, you not don't do anything with it against the interest of the United States, You'll come back, they will give you citizenship back. This is America, and so that you do things. So people they need for the read laws, you know, especially the way we get the internet now, we get Google. Just go Google renting and they may you see waiting at the answers will come out. You know, we need for know about these things. I mean, can you even imagine when you become citizen of uh, countries like the US, like the UK, Canada, all the advanced countries then you get access to a lot of good resources. You know, these people are kind people. They are very good people. I mean, can you imagine where you be citizen? You go school, you get financial aid, you get a student loan. Where is this alone for? Let you even get a loan for go school. You know, get that one day. We get very smart and intelligent people. But because of their economic background, they come on a low income family, poor back, poor families, there. they're not able to pay for their university education so that their brain they don't waste. In America, they don't do that. Then they give you money, you go to school. You know, you don't go to school, they don't give you money. They say go to school, where you don't go, they give you hundred hundred dollars. Then you deny your job, you they make like three, four thousand dollars every two weeks. So let's say you they make like you know six or eight thousand dollars every month. Then say for that money, they now hundred dollars no more. We need pay back so that the next person they can be in you in self go able for 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 use that money they and go get education. I mean, I like then talk say you're not a bad person till you go do that. And then when you don't do that. In fact, then they then like the idea that you don't go now this school year, you they go now your country for go help your country. You know, America they like that. In fact, once they you say you don't go now your country, they help your country, like Alhaji Samuel Samsumana. When you go now in university, who say attend a university of Minnesota, you they meet in picture hangry, then they proud of her for say this man at this university you go, now, now this university you come, and today he is the vice president of Sierra Leone. They are proud of that. And when you ask them, even at your job, you ask and say, I want for send used clothing, shoes, medical equipment, medical material. I want to send them to me people in Africa, pass you tired, then they bring all kinds into you. The people are just good. They are generous. Right? Now we get this bad out, we hurt them dirty, we're not like we brothers and sisters. You know, we don't want for go before. This is what we do to our brothers and sisters. You know? And this is a clear demonstration of that. What the APC don't do, all don't see them. Clear demonstration of that. Right? But anyway, so let me go back to Kanda Yomkela and see what you then do this week. Right? Stick around. Members of Parliament, please report. All members of Parliament, to be. All members, please report. All members of the police, members of parliament, allow them, please. Allow members of parliament. That is small the ball. Small the ball. All members of parliament to be. Members of the AKK. 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 AKY. Your friends, your friends, your friends. Your friends, yeah? AKY. AKK. Members of Parliament, please report. All members of Parliament to be. All members of Parliament, please report. Kole, Ukela. We are not there, no doubt, a Western area. We 28 feet, 20 and a half, so we will take another show. We will promise we will take another show. When well, now the work will begin. Now we need to go on campaign rampage. We will reach every voter at this place here, so.
Lord, we tell them, say, we can't give for better. What you don't see so, now just the beginning, not a show. Then we say, we, we fly there and at three see we get, not a show. See we get. Not a one see we get. Not a say, Not a say, All right, I want to tell you all plenty thank you. We are all from this morning. And I want to congratulate we all and also we member of parliament then, we don't go through the process today. So we tell the Almighty Allah plenty, plenty thank you. We get for who work for you. Kande, call him. You touch Kande. You touch Andrew. Who is the sofa? Who is the ground soon? We will want change. We are left. We are. Let me miss you. We not go do am. Not to win this. Not to win this. We not the top boku. We to make a phone say no more. I want congratulate the first. And I congratulate you all for who that don't join with for pet this pet here now. And as we're ready now for pet the last one now, can we go state house? So congratulations to everybody who is here. Now we don't come up for bridge. Congratulations. Now we don't come up Kisi. We are in Waterloo. Eh, hey. oh, one. You touch Kande. You touch Andrew. Who is the sofa? Who is this ground soon? We will want change. We are left. We are. Oh my God, politics is interesting, right? So, they want the way this grown to, not in Boku. They want the way this suffer, not in Boku. Right? They want the way one change, not in Boku, right? You know, kind of them, they get the Sabi put the message together. Now, that's I like about the NGC, the National Grand Coalition, you know. Then this year, then just somebody from the National Grand Coalition just called me. He said, Hey, Ibrahim. Yeah, we admire your broadcast and everything. We like what you do. What you do now? Sherrick's broadcast network. But we just want for me, you know, say the National Grand Coalition. Now we get the most beautiful woman, them. All women are fine. Then the colors they will choose is nice. They will message the whole they send and they resonate with the people. And so we get for form the next government. So right now we want for let you drop the microphone, let you come over. That's as I say, no, I know they come over right now. Or I know they even come over. You know, I mean, but I just like the message anyway. You know, I like the message. Me and the kid crack jokes a lot, you know, especially the guy that we're in uh, Philadelphia, you know, I mean, man. The, but uh, this is the man where the APC, they will go after, they want for really uh, finish with her. They will come with a rampage. They want finish with can They want to want to. They want for erase a name from the register for run for presidency. But hey, can they be ready for them? So if you don't debunk that one day, right? You don't debunk that. So me fam with them, let will continue for see what they happen, right? Stick around. Da da da, you get another man, don't come for save Your Excellency, we salute you, sir. No go tire, you get no go tire, no go tire. Can they you get no go tire? They want to put on the fire. President, he don't come for safe. Salomon, yeah, 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 yeah. you get on over tire. Vote for one for the president, he don't come for safe. Salomon, you ready for Puri for so far? Yeah, so far. She go fetch for we like a soldier. You get a you come for Puri for so far? Yeah, and she go fetch for we like a soldier. And I hope you know we don't tire for it. We don't tire for it. The world don't see your testimony. 
Famude and Kande Koleyom Kela in Freetown, Sierra Leone. Of course, one guy they really be in Kande. I don't know if now in bodyguard. That guy big. I think say that jog with the jog yonder is good for him. So my brother, if they hear him, we say every day, you know, we we'll give you praises for where the jog be in Kande. But we we'll see just now where Kande the jog in the So I don't know if you get for continue with that stuff today. But anyway, so that is Kande Koleyom Kela. Next, we get for go to the SLPP. You know, we get for, you know, bring come to an, an exclusive video we be done the, all over social media. We, the presidential candidate of the SLPP, retired Brigadier General Julius Madabio, the profile and views on the dual citizenship issue. Now, we get an exclusive talk, we get for talk about this dual citizenship issue, right? But the one thing we're important for, let we know about first, it was an SLPP president late Alahaji Dr. Ahmad Jankaba, na he envisioned this idea about dual citizenship because of the fact that for over 24 years before the a, the military junta, the military, a, the NPLC, the takeover governance in Sierra Leone in 1992, the condition where the APC been created at the country, it encouraged a lot of Sierra Leoneans to flee the country, to leave the country, go abroad, Plenty of people that left the country. All man, they look for greener pastures. Because things that be done, they look very difficult for people. In fact, I don't think then they now, that be this be after the OAU conference where, you know, then they talk, say, who say you tie cow now they, they eat? That means, who say ever then put you, they go thief day, you able to enrich yourself, you able for fan waiting, you and your family, the survival. So things be done hard. So plenty of people that wouldn't get the slightest opportunity to leave Sierra Leone, they left. And then the civil war came, it killed 50,000 people there, according to the Human Rights Commission. 50,000 Sierra Leoneans died during the 11 year civil war. And about 2 million Sierra Leoneans became displaced. Most of them became refugees in other countries. Them. They don't ever go back to the country. So when Tijan Kaba took over governance in 1996, you know, maybe they contemplate on the idea of dual citizenship. Of course, able for envision them, able for put them into an act and send them a parliament for men and discuss them, then debate them and then pass them. And at that time, the Speaker of the House, the, the House of Parliament in Sierra Leone at that time, was a retired judge. So there be no exactly waiting that they do. They understand the 1991 Constitution. They know waiting at the act where they pass. And of course, at the end of the day, an SLPP president signed the 2006 Citizenship Act of Sierra Leone, right? Now I sign them. And when a government don't sign a document like a Dawandi, the most immediate next step is for that document to be incorporated into the laws of Sierra Leone, which is the supreme authority that is the constitution. Therefore, don't, in, therefore don't incorporate them in there. So it was the responsibility of the APC government for many able for push that bill in the parliament or the act in the parliament for let parliament able for get rid of section 76 1 and replace them with this citizenship act so that whatever that they put inside the 1991 constitution for not able for or cover 
the Citizenship Act of 2006. But they don't do it. So what did they do? Then violate this same 1991 constitution for 10 years, you know, and now two months to election, they want for enforcer. So it is paradoxical. So the SLPP presidential candidate will say in TNAP on this issue. So we hear it, they talk about the Citizenship Act. Well, matter of fact, before me talk, let us see what in Julius Madab you talk about this issue. All right, my family, stick around. Because uh, my family, so that's now His Excellency, of course, uh, the presidential candidate of the SLPP, retired Brigadier General Julius Madabio. Of course, the way we talk here now, that time they can't not be done call the press conference yet for throw them in certificate of denunciation. So now that make we can say, with certain positions where you hold, you get for be careful with the talk because with the commoner you mod is a policy statement almost. So now, wait till you go say back to Kande after we don't produce in certificate of denunciation. After we you don't talk 
look at that. For say, oh, they don't go, they don't forget about Salon, they don't do this, they don't do that. And the way they, you know, pledge your allegiance, and they talk, say, you get for away anything happen, they forget about Salon. Well, not to so exactly, you know, Mr. Presidential candidate. They, you get for read about how, you know, where they declare a citizenship or they pledge your allegiance to the United States, waiting at the details of all the things them. Of course, you the pledge say you the support America for anything. You the pledge allegiance for say if America get problem or they need power, you the support them. But at the same time, they not they take away that you natural citizenship of your natural country. You still in a citizen of your country, you know. And then you get the right for denounce shades or for denounce the citizenship, and you get right for come back and get them back once you behave yourself well, right? But anyway, at any rate, uh, the SLPP then said they don't go through the nomination. So officially, they are being nominated for the March 7, 2018 elections. So let's see what happened in that one. This is the code of election campaign edit, which you have signed. It's just the basic rudiments of a campaign. But it is a prerequisite to your nomination. If you don't sign it, will not accept your nomination, but you signed it. So that is the special. So these are copies. Are we okay with the same? All right, may I take the opportunity? We ask that uh, we, we just start with all respect. Yes. So, um, on behalf of the National Electoral Commission, I wish to take the opportunity to congratulate you on your nomination. As you see, it's really it's a very simple process, but it's a legal process. All what you've been doing, uh, I will not say it's, uh, but this is really, for me, one of the most important aspects. You can't conduct an election if you don't go through the nomination. <coughs> So once again, on behalf of the commission, I wish to state that uh, on behalf of the law, again, as per law, you have been provisionally nominated as a presidential candidate and your vice president. These are, these are your papers. Once again, on behalf of the commission, I want to assure you that uh, we are bent on conducting very credible election. For the past few months, you've come up, the party has come up. Order, order, order. All right, so my family SLPP don't officially get the nomination, so they are now going to go into the elections. Of course, other political parties they don't do the same thing. Now, you know, at the CC, what they happen inside the APC, they almost happen inside the SLPP as well. So now that make way plenty of people then get questions about waiting they go on inside them two political parties them. The APC now then begin and force. Then begin for refuse for give symbols to the members them, you know, for many contest for going to parliament or local council positions because of this same dual citizenship. And the same thing happened inside the SLPP. Now the SLPP to me, now the main opposition political party, and now then for they on the side of the people. I mean, if I don't see that this Citizenship Act of 2006 was signed by an SLPP president, and then, you know, when I don't see, say, APC don't violate the 1991 constitution, they don't push for this dual citizenship, but in fact, they violate the 1991 constitution for 10 years, and now suddenly, they want to begin to enforce them. So, when I ask the, uh, the, the main opposition, the expectation was that when I go stand strong and talk, say, this law not count because for all these years we not we don't pay blind eye to this law why are we enforcing it now we not for don't stand strong on this but we don't see slpp do that one day so they're not and even the awarding of symbols we we'll don't begin the year for say the person can they with a get large crowd behind and when in the most popular candidate if they win the election but by the time they reach in a free tongue, not to they get the symbol now somebody else they, they get the symbol so this don't go out again by rumor by rumor till to the point who say me don't see somebody we are very close to where in fact we don't interview on Sherrick's broadcast network now 
We are a very young and dynamic lady. We don't walk now plenty, plenty side them for the SLPP from where they collect take out. So this lady go back na constituency 008 when I da Shebwe ma e na Eastern Sierra Leone Kaila on the street. It don't go back in people that all don't get a be a large crowd of people from village to village to village. They say nine they want all man they be now. They don't go get this election. This lady and I don't win the election. Now they can't take the symbol now under SLPP. Then take the symbol. Then give one other lady. We then call Wuyata. Now when they talk about Mary Nguanya Fode, now he had the talk about. But they take the symbol. Then give the other lady. So now the people that always be support Nguanya, we now almost ninety percent of that constituency. Then say don't talk. Say let Nguanya run as an independent candidate because Nguanya go back and consult with the people and the people then tell and say well run as an independent candidate because we cannot afford to elect somebody else to represent us we not to you so now you we want and not to in one another brother they waste they call ansu konua instead of the same thing so plenty things like that one they they happen in fact we hear they call even the 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 the, uh, the mother bio in wife in name inside this whole thing Right, so I don't know where to make SLPP the resort to these actions. Where they no say it could be a big takeaway from them because if people that don't begin to go independent, now you own stronghold, then there is a looming problem, right? So let us see what happen with Mary Insef as well, right? Stick around. Chairman and the person of Alahadi Mustafa Gomia. Can we all put our hands together for our commission to come out? I will give them the mic for me to make this statement. Television station, June. One West Secondary School, Molina. So, from the Jalwina <laughs> 
te bo loga to ga ke globo oto nya hada ye o pe pe ya hada ye wo e na ba meti si bo na bebo ke mo abe mo ara oru ibu o ma ma wi pe bo ya le ma se gbo o ma kakakaka support ba e wo fe ma mere support na wo fe ma mere we me really talk with the buyer now o mo pe mo ba so fa me ya de ko da ku yi mo continue akola we mo abe mo bi sherix broadcast network video america lo e hu mo ri wo ma mo pe mo ara o ma ko mo be yin de ma so family nya nya le mi a fudi blan se fu ja e fu rumo mi age kegli law school nya be law wesley secondary school of shebema so nya be nya lo ri eh gwa nya wo ma yin de ju ko e family ka se gwa ka wo ma Right, of course, me family and the only reason we make our support Guanyana because we attend the same secondary school, right? Wesley Secondary School, Shebuima. Now me alma mater, now they go even though we've been there ahead of and far, 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 far. Now we don't small, small one them. But it don't reach a point where we need people then we vibrant young people that forgot represent we in our parliament. And so we self send we don't want or two cents inside it. So, me from the next uh, we get for now talk about this dual citizenship in extensive. And of course, uh, today we've been get a, an exclusive interview with the uh, National Publicity Secretary of the Sierra Leone People's Party, Wayne Alahai Lawrence Lima. For let it tell, we who side the SLPP stand on this issue. You know, who side stand on this issue, especially that now late Dr. Ahmad Yankabanai signed this citizenship act even though the citizenship act itself not give the right to do our citizens to vote or to contest for uh, for positions but the mere fact that you are now a dual citizen or you are a citizen of the country you forget right to everything else with other citizens than they do so the mere fact that the dual citizenship act if it been go into effect if it don't be the foundation for everything else we for don't germinate from there right but exclusively, we'll get for now, bring Cam to now this um, analysis of the dual citizenship. So stick around with us. You are watching ShareX Broadcast Network. Hello, my family, we're not Cabo again. Uh, this is now ShareX Broadcast Network. Of course, the place we say will bring Africa live to Usa ever you day around the globe. Uh, today we want to take a quick moment for talk to Una exclusively about uh, the dual citizenship Sega we done the take place in Sierra Leone we now the incumbent all people's congress government headed by his excellency Dr. Anes by Kroma now he bring this issue up of course uh, the apostle way uh, you know brand can to the public now of course the attorney general and minister of justice uh, uh, Mr. Joseph Fitzgerald Kamara, of course, like we all know, the Attorney General and Minister of Justice, as per the Constitution of Sierra Leone, is supposed to advise the President on legal matters. And so, if anything they go right or wrong with regards to legal matters, then that the Minister of Justice and to the General Minister of Justice, na in would they look up to for them continuing. So, of course, we all know see, this uh, dual citizenship issue don't they go around. And uh, some of we don't become really very passionate about this issue, not because uh, we hate the APC of, as a political party or the APC government as a government, or not because we do them um, because we lack, you know, certain individuals the way they run for specific positions in the country or because uh, we do them in you know support of any political party no you know when you talk about government we you they talk about uh, a situation where the one day where they operate government then they play with the lives of uh, the citizens of the country especially like for Sierra Leone I mean thinking about everything where this country don't go through you know just starting from 1978 coming down 
you know, where let take him from 1980, you know, really waiting and begin for go bad now. Waiting and bad thing at the country, you know, who side Sierra Leoneans they begin for suffer, you know, then continue for suffer. Then after we, we country don't decide say we they host the OAU conference now country, you know, with the, with the whole arm. and this now be big time conference. So the small money will be get. We put all team, you know, we take all team at bank, we use them for host the OAU conference. And of course, when I know say Shaka Steven would have been the leader of the All People's Congress now in the host that conference day. And then, you know, say before that one itself, the introduction of the one party state in the country instead bring a lot of issues then, you know. So then two things then they don't make now people that don't suffer so much in the country. The the corruption we don't climax, you know, poverty don't go to some level, people then they live inside squalor, people then they die of hunger, you know, uh, there is a big uh, you know gap between the one that we get and the one that we don't get. And so we all know now then ten and then now we people that we talk say oh who say you tie cow now they, they eat. And so that corruption the or this the the state of of affairs in the country make Sierra Leone descend into an 11 year Puta civil war. That civil war will affect Sierra Leone, according to all analysis of global you know, uh, organizations, that they say that kind of civil war, the horrors of that civil war, you know, ever happen at any country in the whole world, past Sierra Leone. Who side then the glitz, you know, Bele Woman and Bele, who side they cut people and hand them, who side, you know, a lot of horrific things that happen. For 11 years, 50,000 Sierra Leoneans they lost their lives for that war. Two million Sierra Leoneans they became displaced. Some of them became refugees. They not ever turned back in the country, right? And so after we that war they don't do, look at everything else will don't happen, right? So people then we they talk about uh, dual citizenship. We na a very positive thing. Any country where you hear it say then they encourage dual citizenship. Now a very positive thing. Look like uh, the most advanced country in the world, United States, or other advanced countries then at the world, United Kingdom, you know, Germany, the other countries then Canada. Like United States, when you don't become a naturalized citizen in the United States, you they at the same time retain the citizenship of the country of your birth. They're not the talk say, oh, because you don't become citizen of United States, so therefore, oh, you're not a citizen of your country again. No. America not they ever talk that. America are the most powerful country in the world, you know. But they're not the talk that one day. You become a naturalized citizen of your country. I mean, a naturalized citizen of United States, but at the same time, you maintain the citizenship of your natural, uh, your country of birth. You know? So, they don't ever stop anybody for saying, oh, where you be citizen? The only thing, you know, where they become citizen of America, you get for pledge that allegiance, they for say, if America get war, you go fight on their behalf, right? If uh, anything for don't America, now America force you go support, then kind of thing that they go happen. But again, let me look and find back. When you don't become a citizen in places like America, you they, 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 a lot of resources then they will become available to you. A lot of benefits then they will ordinary person you not know, get if you're not a citizen of America. Certain jobs then they you're not know, able for do and do jobs that way they pay you well. Where they make you put good money on your table or you bring put, put uh, you, you live an average you know working class life in America. If you're not a citizen, you not know, get any kind of job. Then. So now let me compare the two. I mean before we actually come to the issue of the, you know, um, the dual citizenship, let us analyze this to our force. Let us see. Waiting make Sierra Leoneans then they become citizens now in other countries then. Especially they not become citizens now other countries then. Now advanced countries like United States, Canada, the United Kingdom, you know, Germany, Australia, then suddenly or other countries in Europe. Now, these Sierra Leoneans then they mostly become citizens of their own country. Then they. Now, because if the government them way they are Sierra Leone, they be don't they create this level playing field. They don't they create all these resources where go make a Sierra Leone not ever want for go live in another country or even try for become citizen in another country. Then it is a whole different story, because there were days back in the days 
in the sixties, we Sierra Leoneans they get scholarship, then go abroad, then just they go study. When they don't study done, then go back in a salon. Because then ten and day, even the money will be the used in a salon, it being get value past the US dollar, the pound sterling, right? Food being then at the country warp, education will be almost free, agriculture will be the boom, the train be then at the country, they go up line all the way to Penemui, they bring produce can at Freetown. You know, people they not be the Yagwa for nothing. So they tend and they when a Sierra Leonean leaves Sierra Leone, they go abroad, they just they go study or they go vacation, they come back in the country. But if the politicians, then the one they will then they put in a position of authority, they're not able for create a level playing field, a conducive atmosphere where they encourage and entertain Sierra Leoneans to stay in their country. Then they go abroad. Even the one that now they try for push and institute then then, then do a citizenship act or whatever 1991 constitution. Now people that if they get that opportunity, they for say they not get any other option. This is the only option they have is to live abroad. Trust me, then they go abroad and live there. Right? So before we they blame Sierra Leoneans there, because I don't see our politicians the way they campaign, where they talk about these things in an in very in, uh, inappropriate way. The information within the past deal with people then is completely not correct. About Sierra Leoneans the way we don't go abroad. And most of them Sierra Leoneans the way they are abroad. Now the same one they do quite a lot of things for able for help that country they for go forward. When it comes to politics, they are doing it big time. When it comes to economy, they are doing it big time. You know, we catastrophe for don't that the country they the Sierra Leoneans in the diaspora, they are helping in a big way. So in it could be a retrogression or a retrogressive mentality for let like anybody within a Sierra Leone, they try for look down on people Sierra Leoneans that we don't get do a citizenship for be, continue for look down on them just because they don't become citizens of them countries that we said in day. If them people then the most of the 90% of them, if they're not to be citizens now them countries and they will say they don't turn to citizens where would they pay, try for block them now. Most of the things that what they don't do necessarily, they're not for not able for do them to that level we say they don't do them. Because when you become citizen and then country, you not sound like a winner salon. What would they give citizenship to anybody? Then the one way they can win a stranger, it look more powerful past we way than born at the country. You know, in all times, so now then place there where somebody becomes citizen, you get close access to a lot of benefits, right? But that's not for be a yes thing. Now, what you would see that happen here in this dual citizenship thing is this the government they don't fail for create a conducive atmosphere in the country where go make a Sierra Leonean toxic. I want for stay in my country. So when they Sierra Leoneans, then during the war. I want for particularly talk about during the uh, the rebel the civil war in Sierra Leone. Two million Sierra Leoneans they don't run away. They don't go, right? When they don't go, President Amati Jankaba, a man of wisdom, he don't talk say, okay, they were brothers and sisters during the rebel war, or even before that, the conditions will be in the country not being good enough for them for many staying at the country. So. They decided to go abroad. So they don't go abroad, they don't become citizens in other countries and they. So therefore, let would try for create a way for men and come back home. This is their home. So now that make way it been pushed for that 2006 citizenship, uh, citizenship act. It pushed for her. And that was the right decision in the right direction. Right? The 2006 Citizenship Act of Sierra Leone. So he pushed for him. When he don't push for him, Parliament passed him. Then he signed it into law. When a sitting president don't sign an act, it becomes law of the country. The only thing now is the constitution, when are the guiding document, when the guide when are the country, when are the 1991 constitution, Section 76 don't talk say if you na a Sierra Leonean where you be don't go abroad and you don't go all a citizenship of another country, then automatically you not qualify for run for any of them position and they like for going to parliament or for run for even local council or for run for the presidency of the country. We understand that. But we think people they know they talk about two things where people they know they talk about. Number one, 
when a sitting president does sign an act, a citizenship act granting Sierra Leoneans of dual citizenship status, for say they go able for reclaim the citizenship of their country of birth. The next immediate thing where any other government where they take over from uh, the, where they take over away for do or any government self where they do now for try for incorporate that citizenship act into the constitution of the country so that it becomes binding. So in other words, in 2006, where President Ahmad Yankaba signed the Citizenship Act of Sierra Leone in 2006. And then the handover government gave the APC in 2007. It was incumbent or incumbent upon the APC government for incorporate the 90, I mean the the 2006 uh, Citizenship Act into the 1991 Constitution. Into the 1991 Constitution, the President or the Minister of Justice, Attorney General, therefore not able for push. This act here in a parliament for me they're able for discuss them, debate them, and incorporate them. So therefore, take away section 76, repeal and replace them with the Citizenship Act of 2006 with President Kamasai. But the APC government not do that one day. And in fact, they not do them, but they went ahead and violated the 1991 constitution by the president appointing. Sierra Leoneans will hold dual citizenship status to key government positions. Most of them were cabinet ministers. Most of them hold other key positions in key government institutions and prior status. And some of them even ran for parliamentary seats. They were in parliament for all these years, 10 years. And now suddenly, in 2018, two months to elections, the APC government headed by the president and the attorney general minister of justice, then they try for push the 1991 constitution for enforce them, for debar Sierra Leoneans then from contesting for these key positions just because of their own very personal interest, which then they do not get nothing for do with the interest of Sierra Leone. In fact, now the opposite than they do. Because if you are really talking about the interest of Sierra Leone, what you do at this point in time, after what country don't go through all of these unfortunate uh, experiences, what country don't go through these catastrophes, if you are interested in genuine development in Sierra Leone, you for encourage all Sierra Leoneans that will be all over the world. For many come together May them participate in the political process. May them participate in the development process. I mean, when Nick is young at the sea, place like a Ghana, right? Place like a Ghana, where they don't, the government don't set up a whole committee where they welcome Ghanaians abroad, Ghanaians in the diaspora. For men and come back and be part of the development process in Ghana. I mean, in terms of economic development, entrepreneurship, joining a uh, political inclusion, then they talk to them in a summit where they all, where the parliamentarians then go in, the, the 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 government ministers then go in, even the president went there and gave a speech, welcoming Ghanaians back to their country. I mean, before I go further, let me even see what they talk about. Let me just see this video really quickly about what they talk about Ghana. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Tell the world. Hello. Diana Uswa Asmini. I need to thank one from Sydney, Australia. I'm going to meet Christopher Ismane. And I am in China. Rashida Ghani from Chicago, USA. They've forgiven my mistake. Fathers and the diaspora, welcome home. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. We're coming home. 
diaspora is a constituency that I believe every government must take very seriously. And therefore, it is heartwarming that an MPP government is back and the homecoming summit is back. Ghana is at a spot where the grounds are so fertile for business building. There is a group of diasporans on the ground already dedicated to putting the things in place to facilitate your return home. So I think you should take advantage of that. This initiative is superb. It's about development, opportunity, and value. The world is talking about Ghana. Lots of opportunities in Ghana. Come and be part of the Ghana Diaspora Homecoming Summit. We're not necessarily saying everybody come back, but we're saying everybody look back. I've been living uh, in Holland for about 21 years. So it's uh, exciting you know, to come back home. Uh, it's just uh, yeah, every time that you come back home living outside, you know, it feels like you are really home. And the policy of the government, I think, is helpful for every businessman like me who is outside the country to come in and uh, invest in the country or find a place to position himself. People say, oh, it's not safe. It's very safe. I travel at night alone and I am not attacked by anyone. Ghana is one of the safest countries you can get in Africa. I believe in you. We believe in you. We believe that together we can do it. The women and children of Ghana are welcome back home. We need you back home. People should come in and interact with the business community and network among themselves to see how best we can take this development agenda by the government. Welcome. Ghana is your home. Right. So when I don't see the video, me fumble them. Welcome home. Welcome home. Now, if I can ask the question, President Anes Baikroma, you you, you cable for talking to Andy? Or oh, you don't want to talk to Andy, welcome home? Joseph Fitzgerald, come out. You don't want to talk, welcome, welcome back home? No. You guys are saying the complete opposite. But this is Ghana. So if people then begin to ask, oh, what you make Ghana they develop so fast? What you make Ghana they develop so fast? Now, because of how Ghana, they do things. They don't get bad at they're not the mess with the electoral process in the country. They're not the meddle inside the electoral process. They're not the reject, they're not the prevent their brothers and sisters where they are abroad. I mean, can you imagine for most of the Sierra Leoneans the way they are abroad? They not just go abroad and go see them. They go abroad, most people them take advantage of the opportunities that were available in other countries that are abroad for many able for go school for me they learn something they acquire experiences acquire skills acquire knowledge we be say anybody within a Sierra Leone we really genuinely means well we want for let development take place in a Sierra Leone and then people they ask so you for encourage for men and come back with their talents with their knowledge, with their experiences, with their skills, for me they put them to work for less alone go before. But instead, when I don't engage in activities rejecting them, and when I send this wrong message to the ordinary Sierra Leone, we don't understand the details of what you want to do. When they send the wrong message to them, when they portray Sierra Leoneans living in the diaspora as bad people. And that's the Sierra Leoneans in the diaspora are not so bad people. We are all Sierra Leoneans. Now, Salon, them born we. The one that are the diaspora, the mama, and the daddy, and then are Sierra Leone. Every now and then, then they take care of the family. Them. You, why you go one for prevent somebody? We them born in a country. This is not a natural God given right. Just because you don't pledge allegiance to another country, so because of that now, you want for exempt and from your own country who say born. You don't ask yourself what you do will culminate into pushing that person for go abroad and go get that citizenship abroad. What you do, what you go able for sure, which conditions the way you don't create na Sierra Leone, we go encourage Sierra Leoneans for me then come back and help. The development process. What you don't do every day, you engage in an activity where they discourage them 
even if they put medicines and medical equipment inside a container load they send an awataki as it reached it when they bring kalo kaloka inside a frustrated bus deposit so much that if they abandon it they're not able to go i mean most of their medicines and medical equipment now for go give free to sierra leoneans then for many not suffer may they not die of minor diseases but wuna when are they in position of authority when they frustrate the sierra leoneans from even giving free uh, uh assistance to the people there they in not stop for that one day even when people then can say let we go do investment in our own country if they don't can get small luck now they don't get that small money they say let we go do investment when the people that can go for make are able for sign a simple document for able for encourage that person for can invest that money in the country employ some Sierra Leoneans then even if not a small group of Sierra Leoneans employ them and in, in, in you know do what they get for do for make on sign a simple document when I take that person through series of series and series of unnecessary bureaucratic procedures then wait to the by the time where they reach to the final possible they tell us okay do business now so take all the resources that we can go you don't exhaust them money don't don't i hand they end up for come back so this is what you guys are doing in sierra leone then oh when i grab when i say oh they want the way they are brought to a citizen they know they do not when i try for exercise sierra leoneans because of that and you know the other thing with government not to tell the ordinary Sierra Leoneans about people that win as Sierra Leoneans the way they are broad, we they all do a citizenship. Waiting they not to tell one now this. If the one the way they are broad, when a saloon people the way we don't come, then they all over the world, thousands of Sierra Leoneans. Every week, every month, then they pull money, then they send an a Sierra Leone. Either then they send a true Western Union or then they send them through MoneyGram or some man they sell and send them through black market but every week every month now they send them money then at the country and then money then where they go to the country now thousands of dollars and so now you want to find out the money the way they go to the country how that money did they have for stimulate the economy the way they cook you don't put salt inside your food where they mix mix and for let the soil do inside all side now so them will need all the sand now so it is stimulate the economy now they make the economy the move on and how it happen that will talk say joseph within uh, australia don't send 500 dollars for him mama for chop money me within america i don't send 500 dollars for my mama for chop money the other person within a UK instead of saying money in a ton or in a Sierra Leone to, to inform you for chop money or for any other purpose. Now let me just say that for chop money, right? Let me say all man don't send every month. That person where sit on at that market, where they sell pepper, where they sell fish, where they sell pamai, where they sell rice, where they sell all the food commodities that all the whole family that they eat. Even though we not get connection with them directly, but because now then they sell renting and they we found that they go change their money and they then go buy 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 renting and they from them. So the market they sell because of the money they all they send, we found that they go use for buy their markets then they. So imagine if the people that waiting at the diaspora they not the same kind of money that they can sell you, how the economy go be. Because even the one the way they work at the country where the government supposed to pay, they not they pay them on time. It will take two, three, four months before they pay them. So if we say not only the money where the government they pay the workers then at the country, now the country they rely on for let the people then survive. I am telling you, my family they wanna go agree with me for say people then go don't die plenty of hunger and starvation at that country. But because of them money they hold the same, even though we not the same to all man, but we the same to family. But family they use their money then they for go to market and buy. So that buy whether they buy the market person instead they go use that money they go buy more market so the, so the money they go around the money they go around then even if my mama cook person day today will not get food for it my mama they pull for that food again so this is how diaspora and sierra leoneans that they help for stimulate the economy in sierra leone so people that went to sierra leoneans they went in abroad within the diaspora now very important block 
for help this country go before. But the politicians, because they don't come for time for politics, they don't forget about Sierra Leone as a country. They don't forget about the development we're supposed to take place in the country. Then they focus on themselves now. Either they say, oh, can the young killer, and they try for take away votes from the APC, or Mohammed Cameron by my side, they try for take votes from the APC. So therefore, they will create a way. Even if they know say this way, I whether they create, they hurt the young members, and they hurt the country as a whole, they don't care, they don't give a damn. They just they pursue their own personal self-interest. This not to in the interest of the country. It is in their own personal interest because they don't believe in democracy, wherein the people directly involve and participate in the affairs of their country. They don't believe in that. They believe in dictatorship. They believe in authoritarianism. You know, we are in anything where they want for do neither they do. They, you know, where they want for do anything, nobody knows for stop them. So that this they go on right now on Sierra Leone. So if you ask the question, this kind of thing where they go on Sierra Leone, you compare it to what they happen at Ghana. Salon not they ever able for 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 advance. They're not they ever able for go before because of your individual attitudes. Were they ever able for advance? So until Sierra Leoneans they able for understand these things where they happen, we able for understand and come to terms with these things where they happen. We country not they ever go before. We country small, me family. The water no more where God give we. When other soil water we come up from Sulima, they can go up na future. That alone, if we say we they invest in that, what they call tourism, where with man and other people that they come up from their own country, then they can't enjoy our country. We create that avenue for them. For me, where they come, we create boku boku thing that we go make them really feel at home. They feel for them our country, for enjoy themselves. That alone go take care of all of the problem in the country. It go take care of we all. No Sierra Leone not even supposed for you work too much for let you able for make them. If we only focus on tourism. How about agriculture? God don't give you arable land. You did take mango so you eat them, they see the drop and grow. It left later on, they germinate. Other country they did not get that one, they say, so, 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 so God don't give you everything. Agriculture alone will be able to use agriculture for kill two, two birds with one stone. And how would they do them? We go use agriculture for create avenue for let we get enough food like how we get uh, before. Oh, they eat, we get rest in the country. Today, we eat, today, we know they don't have the exporter out of Salo. Then at the same time, we go use agriculture for create job for them youth that we don't get no job for do. We don't no get work for do. Right? And so plenty, plenty other things that they will be able for do. Now, the only way we we'll able for doing it here, now for let we able for put people in a position of authority where they understand how for do them kind here, where they get the vision, where they brain, they think honestly about these things. We're not to, we're not to pass selfishness or greed or nepotism. We're not righteous Sierra Leonean thinking. We know they do that and they instead we they try for for dread and discourage the country salon people there. When are we all born at the country? Right? This is what we are doing. And the other thing that is so disheartening about this whole thing is we may they see a political party like this, Raleon People's Party, we're not the oldest political party in the country. And we're not the main opposition political party in the country. When it be say the 2006 Citizenship Act of Sierra Leone was signed by an SLPP president. Now SLPP president, late Dr. Ahmad Jankaba, na in envisioned the idea, he push on a parliament, parliament pass up, he can sign up on October 26, 2006. Nine President Kaba signed the Sierra Leone Citizenship Act of 2006 as amended because the 1973 Citizenship Act will not be allowed to do a citizenship, neither amend with the 2006 uh, Citizenship Act. 
a, an SLPP sitting president signed it. So if APC don't grab, then they try for overturn something where a, an SLPP president signed. Waiting at the position of the SLPP as a political party for stand in ground on waiting an SLPP president do. Instead, waiting me they see and they see them say self they support the idea of the 1991 constitution. Where they say the APC failed for men to do their job. Because if the APC has a government they be do their job, they be for don't incorporate, they for don't push this bill in a parliament, this act in a parliament for men and debater and incorporate them into the 1991 constitution, replacing it with 76 1. Right? But they don't do that one day. So now, because of they don't do their job, then they punish innocent Sierra Leoneans the way they're supposed to benefit from the 2006 Citizenship Act. And the SLPP as a political party, where now the president will put this thing into effect, then they support the APC by undoing what the SLPP don't do 10 years ago or 11 years ago. Oh my God. That's what I cannot understand. So some of we really care for no waiting at the position of the SLPP on this issue. We need to know their clear position on this issue. Maybe the party they need for meet force. May they really, you know, reconsider and discuss these things and come out with a robust position statement on this dual citizenship. Because don't just think about today, because you are running for presidency and you want to win the presidency, and so therefore you go say any statement. When you become the presidential candidate of a political party, any token away the common you want, it becomes a policy statement. Just as the president, the sitting president, and as by Chroma, any talk where you talk, it's a policy statement. So that make way they in certain positions, you know they just talk no more. You for no way they talk at whatever gathering. <clears throat> right? So now that they may not even understand the within the position. And the information what they give the masses, the populace, if they make that they look at Sierra Leoneans in the diaspora with this bad way. That they look at we, that they look at we in a bad way, even though most Sierra Leoneans they mean so well for Sierra Leone. We say they don't begin to see the impact of this decision. This is not the Sierra Leone that we want to live in. This is not the Sierra Leone oh, they expect for let it be the Sierra Leone. This is not the Sierra Leone. If one for let this country move forward, let this country go before, these are not some of the actions that we'll get for employ for let this country go before. We we'll get for do things differently. Because they say you cannot continue to do the same thing and expect a change. If you want for let change happen, you get for do things differently. So at the real if you say, number one, the APC government, then they play Kalu Kalu with, I mean, then they play, play with your lives. They don't take power 2007. They don't uphold the 1991 constitution. The president will appoint plenty of in cabinet ministers when I do as citizens. The whole citizenship in Sierra Leone, citizenship in other countries, they don't appoint them, appoint them into cabinet positions. The parliament will approve them. They don't serve in their positions for 10 consecutive years. They don't allow some of the members, they're not even going to parliament as do as citizens. They don't enforce the 1991 constitution. Then the APC government also failed for incorporate the 2006 Citizenship Act into the 1991 Constitution. Because when they sign the act there so, it is incumbent upon the incumbent government to incorporate it into our laws. Now the same thing we then do way they sign way the ECOWAS court passed the judgment on Samsumana in case. They say, oh, it is not binding on us. That case, they don't get nothing for do that case. So whatever ruling they do at ECOWAS, they're not binding on the country. But in 2005, the sitting vice president of Sierra Leone, Mr. Solomon Ekuma Berewa, signed the ECOWAS court treaty. And when they sign a treaty, they are so, if you know say you're not the incorporator into your country's laws, don't sign it. 
But when you sign it as government, whether now you don't know the next government will come, it is their responsibility to incorporate these things into the Sierra Leonean law. Because ECOWAS not going for Sudan wait for you. There are 16 countries in West Africa. All the other 15 countries they don't go back, they don't implement NTR, so they treat it into their own laws. Only Salon not implement it into EU law. And then so that they expect ECOWAS for Sudan wait for them. ECOWAS is not gonna wait. The ECOWAS court is gonna go ahead and do their job. And so when a case arises from Sierra Leone and somebody can't go to ECOWAS court, a can have to say they pass the judgment, that judgment is binding on Sierra Leone as a country because we appended our signature to the court treaty. So any excuse now where you they give as Antonio General Minister of Justice, government, like in a whole water, because this treaty, you know you go sign treaty 50 factor and then you don't have to uphold them. So the bottom line is, the APC government, especially the Ministry of Justice, they not do their work. They not incorporate the ECOWAS court treaty into the laws of Sierra Leone. They not incorporate the 2006 Citizenship Act into the 1991 Constitution. They fail to do these things. And so at the end of the day, they are punishing Sierra Leoneans now for their own failures. This is how I look at the whole thing. The other day at the Yeri, uh, Yeri uh, Cornelius de Vaux, the spokesman for the government, they talk say, oh, they fail for pay due diligence to that particular clause in the constitution because then they assume for say, then one they wait on continent for them positions there, or the one they will appoint to cabinet positions that not be Sierra Leoneans and then not behold any dual citizenship. Mr. Devo, are you hearing yourself? Do you know that what you did talk it they paint a picture of you and the government that will not know what you want to do. How can you base the operation of government on assumption? It's like you don't have processes in place where you they use for vet things them. You don't get procedures where you they follow for do things them for operate as a government. That's what you are telling us. Because every government is supposed to forget procedures. Policies and procedures, whether they follow for do things there. So you cannot say we base you cannot base your operation on assumption or you not follow due diligence because you assume say. So this is these are some of the excuses they are giving us now. And I hear you way Joseph Fitz Gerard Kamara as the Minister of Justice and Attorney General they talk about the 1991 constitution to the APC people that they enforce them and they talk in in, in that tone, let's say every sentence we utter, it end up with exclamation mark. For let the thing hammer at home. It took you 10 years to say what you are saying now. Why are you saying it now? Two months till the next election. So this is complete disservice to Sierra Leone. This now by then way they have they know would that Lex alone and would that not Lex alone. Because by their actions there, you did tell we say let Sierra Leone remain the way it is or let it go bien even further. That is what I see happening here. And so my family would encourage you now for Leuna, 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 you know, bring up your voices. Let people hear your voices on this issue. So they open the line for let people, you know, talk about this issue as well. Right? So once more, this now, Ibrahim Sharif, uh, Sharif's Broadcast Network, and if you say, did they really get what you would try for talk about? This dual citizenship issue, not treat and lightly not treat and lightly because this is not a light issue this it affect the people then today it affect the people then tomorrow and it affect the coming generation and you know salon family that you will listen to if you happen for come across this video we want for me you know say when people that they go abroad in certain countries i like they say this person and to way when i excuse me for for language Nakakai did to wait. That money where they pay them every two weeks, matter of fact, not to every month, every two weeks, that money where they pay them. If we go genuinely by the job descriptions, where they inside with document and a Sierra Leone, we'll not go pankalo, kalo, we'll not thief money, we'll not do nothing. Where you work genuinely, where the money don't they pay you. That money where they pay workers in a Sierra Leone. The money where they pay that kaka person as na abroad, they, nobody not going to pay that kind of money in a Sierra Leone. This person like, I cannot wait it away. That was a minimum wage. Waiting at the PM, no no job, no day where they will give person a salary, they will pay another kind of money. 
So if anybody come on abroad, they say if they go back in the salon for go vie for join the political process in the country, that a big sacrifice they make. Because here he is or she is, where they left all the luxuries. But again, to Kanaya, a little a nice, nice place. You know, if they wear fine clothes, you know, they tie up and food for it. He left all the one they say, I had to go back to my country for go help with the democratic or the political process. The way he reached under people that they look down on her. Now, big sacrifice people that they make on and on. So, these are some of the ways the way they behave in Sigalion. Where God they vex by we, where they talk, say we, not, we continue not to go before. Now, by their actions, by their tears, so what they do. They say, What you want for let God help you, now for help yourself first. But if we not help yourself, how God get for help we? Now we say, say we not let we self, we not let with brothers and sisters because of selfish, selfishness. We don't want to let with brother can near we. We don't want to let with sister can near we because we don't want for me to take that position. Even though we didn't have the position, we not we not submit do the job. We not make let the country go before, but we don't want nobody else day. This is what is going on. So my family and I will get for stuff for now. I tell you now plenty, plenty. Thank you for our time. And of course, we'll go back now at the main studio for the rest of the broadcast. Thank you very much. And this is now Ibrahim Sharif. You are watching ShareX Broadcast Network. You are watching ShareX Broadcast Network. All right, my family, they want to cover again. Of course, uh, this is not Sherrick's Broadcast Network. Like how we can always come to now. Of course, uh, we're not a delight to we for, let we able for continue for provide the services that we will provide to now. One for tell now, plenty, plenty. Thank you for all the comments, the questions, the suggestions. And of course, not anything and they would work on uh, not Sherrick's Broadcast Network. We want to appreciate all the supporters out there around the globe. Of course, uh, today in our midst, we get a very uh, important personality, of course, not to other person. Uh, the person where they talk on behalf of the main opposition Sierra Leone People's Party, where now the oldest political party in Sierra Leone. He will talk to me today about this very uh, popular issue we don't erupt uh, during this electoral process in Sierra Leone. And of course, we're not going to talk about any other process. We're going to talk about the National Publicity Secretary of the SLPP, uh, Mr. Lahai Lawrence Lima. Again, for joining we live from Freetown, Sierra Leone. For now, we'll talk on some of the uh, questions, some of the comments. Then we, when I don't send to win, also for Makugo ask the SLPP uh, specifically. Uh, as the sitting president at that time, now be an SLPP president, we signed the 2006 uh, Citizenship Act. And so, one for no side the party stands. So, with that, uh, when I just hang on there as we bring Mr. Lahai Lawrence Lima for me to join we right about this time. Hold on, fam, with it. Musiclist.com, royalty-free music for marketing and promotional videos. Broadcast Network. All right. Of course, on the line now we get uh, Mr. Lahai Lawrence Lima from Freetown, Sierra Leone, for Lego Talk to We. Hello, Mr. Lima. How did you do today? I did well. Good evening, and uh, good evening to the people out there. 
Right, right. Uh, now, a pleasure always forget you on Sherix Broadcast Network for a long good talk on some of them very uh, key issues that where they arise in our country. Uh, for let we not go waste your time. We not say you are a very busy person nowadays, but we actually appreciate you for taking a some time off your busy schedule for dinner. Or so, so um, let we go straight to the point. Uh, well, many of the questions where people that know they ask when the APC government. Uh, don't they try for enforce the 1991 constitution in Sierra Leone, wherein then they attempt for debar some of the Sierra Leoneans they wouldn't fix it, they all do our citizenship. Uh, for many go not go run for key uh, government positions and parliamentary seats in the country. Uh, we want for you know ask you today because uh, during the uh, I mean the 19 the 2006 Citizenship Act they say now nah, President a late President Ahmad Jankaba when I be an SLPP president now he na he been a very been, been very passionate about that act day we they began for amend the 1973 uh, Citizenship Act for ensure the Sierra Leoneans that we don't go abroad. Or then go able for come back and participate meaningfully in the development of the country. So people they want for know who side the SLPP as a political party when the president been signed this act. Who side stand on this issue? Um, in the first place, um, it's rather unfortunate that uh, the 1991 constitution itself not to SLPP actually craft them. Mm -hmm. And also unfortunate that uh, the constitutional review process we as we even do will not be able for implement them. But we believe say the government or in a democratic dispensation there is what we call continuity of government. So that is who say you come in start and stop, where you come you for always mean well for the country in development one and for able for continue from that end. Now we find out, say, um, because uh, the 1973 Act in the in existence, it can be actually deprived a lot of Sierra Leoneans, not for able for um, take uh, do uh, essential services in the country by even doing business, is establishing um, industries and factories, or working in in government or taking serious government positions. So, and we know say that the term and they were there, were there actually the name of this term in the 1970s or 73. These were days of the one party realm we've been getting for lead to a lot of brain drain in this country where we've been get for undermine the country in existence because all human resources being get for left the country potent one then. So, when we get for get the reemergence of democracy, President Kabasi, I'm saying, because of the, 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 the war, we don't ravage the, the resources of this country, particularly when you think of the human resource base. And we need people with uh, technical abilities or technocrats them for can serve in the country. So as a result of that, in 2006, the Citizenship uh, Amendment Act was passed. We will allow Sierra Leoneans and now for all to our citizenship. Mm -hmm. But um, unfortunately, Section 75 and 76 is there. Mm -hmm. We um, that said get the new implications or ramifications. But the amendment to the uh, Citizenship Act now be done set aside that issue of somebody being a, a citizen of another country and Sierra Leone by birth mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, every other thing. We you know for able for benefit from um, um, enjoying other facilities as citizens of this country. So now, if you are a Australian by birth, then born in Australia, your parents are all Australian and come out. Mm -hmm. You owe citizenship to Sierra Leone as much as also you can owe citizenship to any other country, and then you get rights for enjoy a lot of other facilities in this country, like um, getting industries, engaging in business, or doing some a lot of other things in the country, but even participating in the democratic processes of the country. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, the Section 76 of the 1991 Constitution mm -hmm. was not amended, but precisely within that particular provisions they talk about. Mm -hmm. not emphatically, they talk about duality of citizenship. Mm -hmm. I think the point where he emphasized now that uh, you're not for all allegiance to any other country, why is you owe allegiance to Sierra Leone? We mean, say, you go with things like conflict interest, can arise, and at the same time, they also border on royalty. Um, and uh, so, because of all of them, things that we don't see anybody, when a Sierra Leonean, we owe uh, allegiance or we pay allegiance to another country, um, you're not entitled for become 
uh, um, for um, um, for be elected as a member of parliament or even become uh, a minister or deputy minister in government when you go by section 56 mm -hmm. sub 2a of the 1991 constitution mm -hmm. so but um again you want to know say this law don't be in existence from the time of the 1991 constitution come into existence mm -hmm. but unfortunately i mean uh, unfortunately i want to say unfortunately um that all this while those provisions of the constitution have not been, been been put into effect or has not been enforced even mm -hmm. by the SRPC government the APC government has not enforced them throughout the tenure period until now that uh, the tenure almost don't come to an end and that we really move into the transition phase then they don't decide for evoke this particular um, um, provision for deprive other meaningful people where don't get world of experience we want for can join the political scenery of the country and we think say everybody when they're born in this country you cannot render them stateless mm -hmm. if that provision section 76 uh a they talk about one a they talk about say you know for all allegiance to any other country mm -hmm. and why you not citizen mm -hmm. then that debar anybody will pay allegiance to another country not for all not for i mean not for be elected as a member of parliament or oh, a deputy minister position or even be elected as president of this country mm -hmm. by implications when you look at other provisions like section 40 41 where they talk say you for be qualified for being elected as member of parliament before you become electable as a member of president or as a president so essentially when mm -hmm. we look at all of those mm -hmm. uh put together mm -hmm. um hello yes yes i get you hello yes okay. Mm -hmm. When we look at all of those things put together, mm -hmm. you know, see, I'm saying, if somebody owes allegiance to another country, then he is deprived from being elected as a member of parliament. But this law not be done, it not be done, they, well, government in the past and, uh, well, the SNP government and the APC government not done evoke all these laws in all of the active tenure in offices. The APC don't decide to evoke this law for deprive other people not for participate in the process. Well, the law is the law. You cannot say where the law is bad or good is the law. And that we get to obey, we get to respect the laws. And But the question so, many people will ask, right. why the government decide to evoke the law at this week of time when we don't come to the closure? But then again, the question where people, I mean, the response will be to that, mm -hmm. whether evoke can now or you know evoke can now, that law has been in existence. So what is clear now now that mm -hmm. if the team talk about uh, the provisions talk about allegiance right. and then you don't revoke you or you don't renounce you you allegiance paid to other country mm -hmm. we're not to bury them born you but you don't renounce them mm -hmm. that means uh, the fact that you don't get an evidence of renunciation of your, your allegiance to that other country other mm -hmm. than Sierra Leone mm -hmm. automatically you are qualified to be elected as a member of parliament to be elected as the president of this republic because you were born in Sierra Leone, your parents were your parents are Sierra Leoneans, and we Sierra Leone as a nation don't sign to many treaties. We're not going to make any Sierra Leonean where they're born here by birth, we get Sierra Leone by birth mm -hmm. and by 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 parent by, by parentage, not for be rendered stateless. So once we get an evidence of renunciation of your allegiance to some other country outside Sierra Leone. You are a Sierra Leonean and automatically you are qualified to be elected as a member of parliament and as president of the republic. So, 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 so yeah. Now. Uh -huh. Yes, Mr. Lima. Uh, so, I don't, I don't mean for cut you out, but let me get something clear here. The thing here is the people that they try for really get and clearly from the SLPP being that now this uh, 2006 uh, Citizenship Act was signed on October 26, 2006. And then immediately after we, the SLPP don't sign, I mean, the president don't sign that act, they then hand over government to the APC in 2007. So now being the responsibility of the APC for introduce this bill here, so now, or this act now parliament so that they go incorporate them into the 1991 constitution for get rid of the uh, section 76 one and replace them with this act so that it will cover everybody so people then this try for say this not a gimmick not a politics way APC they try for play so they want for know if the SLPP as a political party they support APC and this act or the waiting and they do now or they know they support them well um in the first place like i said the law mm -hmm. is the law um when you do um jurisprudence you did see i'm say 
a bad law is still a law, mm -hmm. a good law is still a law. Um, nobody would have known it's a bad law because nobody perhaps not ever advanced a mind to read. The SRPP do the amendments of the provisions, but what is clear than that? Mm -hmm. That particular provision is really not dwelling on duality of citizenship, the provision mm -hmm. of the Constitution. Mm -hmm. And what the SRPP do now, an amendment to the Citizenship Act will give somebody the right now for be a Sierra Leonean and also um, a citizen of some other country and you are still recognized as a Sierra Leonean. Within the provisions of Section 76 1 of the 1991 Constitution, they emphasize that the fact say, mm -hmm. Hello? Yeah, it looks like we don't, we don't lose Mr. Lima. Okay, what did try for calling back? Remaining for this call. Thank you for using Boss Revolution. Hello? Yes, Mr. Lima. Go ahead. We lost you. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, that is the law where they in existence so far, like I've been to say. Mm -hmm. And uh, in actually, emphatically, not to talk about duality of citizenship, but what emphatically is stressing on is the fact that you cannot be a Sierra Leonean and owe allegiance to some other country. The problem here is looking at a conflict of interest. If Sierra Leone, for instance, they at war with any other country where they um, you owe a citizen or an allegiance to, where mm -hmm. would you pay your loyalty? Those are the things we perhaps would look at. Yes, the APC evoked that particular provisions at the nick of time where many don't look at them and say, yes, they have not done it in good faith. And that is what we, we, we too are looking at, that they have not done it in good faith. But essentially, that is the law. And for, say, SLTP go make a categorical statement on that now when it is an existing law, um, it will be perhaps uh, an, uh, a miscalculation. Well, once in governance, we will weigh the pros and cons mm -hmm. of how that law they affect Sierra Leoneans then or looking at the discriminatory effect of that particular law and considering the fact that democracy they promote human rights and justice and once we are in governance then we will examine that provision we will review it and if it cost us of course uh, the fact that we don't amend that aspect of the citizenship act by giving Sierra Leoneans the right for who do a citizenship mm -hmm. if that provision in any way they affect that uh, decision taken by the SRPP for give Sierra Leone the right or make them also able to let this country and look out for better opportunities and then come back and serve their country with their expertise the more they don't get. If we see that, that constitutional provision is, is, is a discuss that particular amendment, then it requires we for do an amendment to the effect. We will do all that. But as it is now, we cannot make any categorical statement clearly on that um, until we assume governance mm -hmm. and then review the provisions, assess the pros and cons, and how much that will, we, we also assessing the pros and cons, the discriminatory effect in the democratic dispensation will also be examined, and then we will take the best decision. We're good for the nation and good for the citizens of this country. Okay, and so Mr. Lima, having said that, you and I know say when the APC took over governance in Sierra Leone in 2007. Uh, then decide for violate the same 1991 constitution whether it's right for enforce now by appointing people to key government positions where behold hold this dual citizenship and they don't pledge their allegiance to other countries but they don't look at that they don't violate the constitution for 10 or almost 11 years right and so now people that they talk say wusai slpp been day wait to make slpp not been voice in opinion on this issue and now that they don't try for enforce a law where they don't violate for 10 years and it clearly the show say that they do want for go after certain people them way they want for contribute to the electoral process or the democratic process in the country. 
waiting SLPP they say about this kind of act where the APC they put up as the main opposition uh, political party in the country? Um, SRPP has never been silenced in all of uh, the mischief way the APC don't do. Mm -hmm. We all know say SLP, I mean the APC get a history of despotism and uh, one party mentality. Right. Up to this time, they're still not able to free themselves from the shackles of uh, dictatorship, even in a democratic dispensation. Mm -hmm. That is very obvious and very clear, and clear to the SLPP, and the SLP has never been silenced about it. And we know how much effort we put to, in place for ensure say, we bring peace to this country and also try to bring in a stable democracy. Usa, you get President Kaba, we ensure say, and it's not just about finishing the war, but what thing will make this country not relapse to war again? We need for doing by creating good institutions and making good laws mm -hmm. where the SRPP been do. And you, of course, in government, especially we, we in government at that time, we'll be marked with a lot of other issues. We've been there very limited time, but we'll do a lot of good things for this country. Now, who side the SRPP find itself in opposition? The SRPP provide a very vibrant opposition in the first half of the APC first, uh, first five years in office. Mm -hmm. And even in the second half, the SRPP equally provide a very vibrant opposition, but you get a government who decide not to listen. And because we know the price where we pay for peace in this country, we try to do much of the talking than engaging into fight. And what in you section thirty five one of the nineteen ninety one constitution tell political parties them for do now that the need for shape the political will and opinion of the citizen for put them in a better shape for make a better decision in the ballot box. Now the difference between the Momo regime and President Krumayo regime and the fact is um, in Momo and regime when all strife fail for ensuring the effect change in this country now war come to this country, and at the end of the day, the APC was overthrown. Unlike uh, President Kuma in regime, when all strife failed for make we get President Kuma for listening to the voice of Sierra Leonean, then we, as a party where they exist as the main opposition party, mm -hmm. they shape the political will and opinion of the people, keep them informed adequately for make a better decision, where they will reflect on the ballot boxes, where will effect the necessary change, and bring in the SRPP into governance, we get good track record of democratic good governance in this country for effect the necessary change where we want. Mm -hmm. Now we can reflect back to the to the laws the way the APC one for evoke now or the, the, the constitutional provisions where APC one for effect now, where there don't be an a leading uh, uh, figures mm -hmm. for violate them provisions then they mm -hmm. now let's take an example for example the unconstitutional sacking of the vice president of this republic when our chief al haji samsumana right. the srpp was never silent about it the srpp called up a press i mean in fact a neck meeting an emergency neck meeting and take up resolutions them way of course we put into effect and uh, by even getting srpp youths and other youths of other political parties for go demonstrate before the u.s embassy for call President Kuma and the APC government for respect the democracy of this country. Mm -hmm. And we not only stop there, we continue also for put we councils them, uh, we council control areas or put them on on, 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 on strike for ensure say mm -hmm. we show with the satisfaction to the APC say what in and don't do is not correct and inconsistent with the uh, democratic constitution of this country and it gears towards killing the democracy of this country. But against all of those backdrops, um, at the end of the day, the Supreme Court of this country rules say the decision of the president was consistent with what is in the Constitution, and that is the Supreme Court of the land. And you cannot have a political party continue to fight after the Supreme Court don't take a verdict. But when the, uh, the, the individual who had suffered as a victim of the mischief of the APC where it decides to seek the face of the ECOWAS court, mm -hmm. and the ECOWAS court will therefore rule and give them rights. Mm -hmm. The SRPP again was never silenced with that. The SRPP and the flag bearer of the SRPP, which is retired Brigadier Jesus Madabio, immediately come out with uh, a press release, um, also taking a position condemning the act of, uh, uh, um, um, I, mean, I mean, endorsing the ruling of the ECOWAS court. Mm -hmm. We further go for also say, the decision of President Kuma is wrong and is not consistent with democratic values. Right. The other thing we want to know now the fact is after we SRPP reviewed the 1991 constitution, where Mr. Uh, the, uh, Dr. Peter Tucker 
and other stakeholders in this country will not be able to put into effect. Well, President Mwabin gets an opportunity for ensure, say, even though they don't fail in this country, or the NPC government and President Kumar don't fail for deliver um, on the goodies of this country or for take democracy in an advanced state for better the lives of the people of this country. Mm -hmm. It's an opportunity at least for left a better course in this country where even the chairman of the Constitutional Review Commission before in debt, that was the, the grievances he expressed at the at the failings of this government and President Kuma for ensure say they implement a very good constitution where he decided not for two. In fact, what and do as well, they'll further go for even controvert the con constitutional review process where uh, the justice, uh, um, late Justice uh, Kawan and mm -hmm. the committee, they don't do then try to undermine that again by bringing again bad things into that constitutional review when go sit on a cabinet and bring, a, bring out a cabinet white paper where contra, uh, uh, contradicts uh, what in the constitutional review process you know, on, uh, try to undermine the entire constitutional review process after we don't know. And Sierra Leone money don't go hugely into that review process. Mm -hmm. They're now uh, to Parliament, uh, 50 plus 1 is the capacity need for we for make it form the next government of this country and also to try to undermine a lot of the aspects. But the SRTT was never silenced on that in Usai Honorable Paramtara Liwe, now the SRTT will be represent constituency 87 from both. The Ingefor challenge the Speaker of Parliament and the APC Parliament on that issues where he even go outside Parliament and engage the media in Sierra Leone, the local media say the decision where the uh, speaker and the APC parliament try to undermine the constitutional review process by bringing in uh, effect other areas where the constitutional review process is not taught. It's not consistent and therefore we don't need for go by him. And because of that, I hope that if it do to the fees where, where democratic uh, parties and they don't meet and agree, say, we for pay certain amount of fees for make all political parties able to participate in the process. O open people their eyes to that. We'll be there for uh, make the government shamefully try for sin. Then they try for uh, uh, um, 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 add the money where people or political parties them for pay for them. So mm -hmm. essentially what you will try for put out now the facts is SLPP has never been silenced on the unconstitutional approaches uh, where the APC got engaged in over the period. So you see when APC yeah, decides so, to go mm -hmm. according to law, we should mm -hmm. be critical and look at what is the ulterior motive way lie behind the move where they make. Right. The APC is part extremely mischievous and if they say that they evoke law, we always need for the critical very sensitive that they're not the doing good faith. And indeed, evoking section seventy six, yes, it is an existing law where of course na na a right for let them evoke them. But we they say as a party that they're not doing in good faith. And it is meant towards uh, which haunting certain political candidates, political figures in this country. Well, yeah. So, Mr. So, 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 they do now for which ones Dr. Kande Yumkela for get them out of the race and other right. political figures with a series of threats to the APC existence. And well, we are saying. That, well, Mr. Uh, Lima, Mr. Yes. Mr. Mr. Lima, what do you they say right now? You know, they're not consistent with some one video, particularly way they are social media now, way the presidential candidate of the SLPP, where that retired Brigadier General Julius Madabu, instead of the talk on this issue, who say they talk as if it they give weight to the APC that anybody where we don't go abroad, they don't get another passport, they not supposed to come back necessarily and now for position. And so when a, a, an SLPP presidential candidate, they talk like that, and they make a lot of people and they ask questions, especially that there are quite a lot of members of the SLPP within the diaspora, then they contribute money to the party. Some of them go to Sierra Leone, they even go for Tina for positions, then the party end up not giving symbols, then come back, they are discouraged. So when they see the presidential candidate, they talk like that one, they, they discourage them a little bit. What do you go say about that? I'm well clear from that statement. I'm not actually listening yet. I'm not listening them yet. But if I can take them from watching the presenter, that was not much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Then essentially, it is still try for say the same thing what I don't say here that the law is the law. Mm -hmm. Whether the law is bad, the law is good, it is still the law. Essentially, section 76 1 is saying that those who owe another passport outside Sierra Leone owe allegiance or pay allegiance to that particular country outside Sierra Leone. And that is what Section 76 uh, 1A is saying. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So if we say that he's essentially saying what the law has said, he is not saying it with the sense of giving weight to what or to the mischievous deeds the APC is doing. But again, mm-hmm. as a patriot, you would have to say that if this is the law, you have to encourage your citizens to respect the laws and to ensure that we try as best as possible for avoid APC which haunts him, right? What mm-hmm. is clear in that again is that even though that is the law, but the law says that once you're able to present an evidence of renunciation of, uh, of your citizenship or an, a, a, an evidence of renunciation of to whatever country you owe an allegiance to, mm-hmm. you cannot be deprived uh, from your right to participate in the electoral processes of this country. Mm-hmm. So essentially, if retired Brigadier Julius Madabio has said that, he has not said it in bad faith, he has not said it to give weight to the mischief of the APC, mm-hmm. he has said it in good faith to, um, to educate our membership and the general public on the fact of the law, that right. that is an existing law, and that is the law, and if it is the law, we must ensure that we do what, what gives us the leverage to escape that aspect of the law. And what gives you the leverage to escape that aspect of the law mm-hmm. is by producing an evidence of renunciation of whatever allegiance you owe to another country so that you can have the leverage to participate fully in the democratic processes of your country, a country you were given back to, a country your parents held from, and of which nobody can deprive you of that right and Mm. Hello, Mr. Lima. We're not hear you. You're not on mute. The uh, your phone. Hello. Okay, we'll get for column again. Let us see what's going on. Remaining for this call. Thank you for using Boss Revolution. Yes, Mr. yes, yes, Mr. Lima. I know say you didn't find it difficult with the network and that. And so, if we can take them from what you just don't say, you know, where somebody don't denounce denounce in allegiance to. Uh, another country is in, in, in another way of saying you don't you know talk so you don't want to be citizen of that country anymore so meaning that the same dual sure. citizenship issue now would they talk about so if somebody get for run for key positions in the country either for parliament or for run uh, for presidential as uh, uh, office then again for denounce say ain't not to a citizen of any other country so that's they go in my own opinion me not to lawyer but that's they actually go for defeat the purpose of being a dual citizen uh, as the uh, the act say the 2006 citizenship act say all right let's take it as it is see, mm-hmm. the 1991 constitution and provisions which is talking about um you not being a Sierra Leone, you being a Sierra Leonean should not owe allegiance to any other country outside Sierra Leone mm-hmm. let us assume for one for the sake of argument that that is talking about dual citizenship right right mm-hmm. if that is the case then the amendment to the 1973 act mm-hmm. It still can it, it, then the amendment to that uh, to that uh, uh, act talking about duality of citizenship mm-hmm. um, still uh, that means say uh, they in conflict with what uh, section seventy six one a they talk about and right. USAI and act of parliament conflict with constitutional provisions. Mm-hmm. There is a provision in the constitution again where it talks say uh, USAI and act of parliament conflict with constitutional provisions. Mm-hmm. Then the constitutional provision takes precedence or takes an overriding effect over that act of parliament. Mm-hmm. But what do we say here? We mm-hmm. only look at them for the sake of argument, say, mm-hmm. owing an allegiance to another country outside Sierra Leone, for the sake of argument means, say, now do a citizenship we talk about. Right. If that is what we are talking about, mm-hmm. then it means 
that that particular provision is in conflict with what Section 76A is talking about. So the right. amendment is of no moment. Mm -hmm. The amendment is of no moment when you take that particular constitutional provisions into effect. Mm -hmm. So what gives you the leverage here now is to ensure that you renounce whatever citizenship status or allegiance you hold because you still want to cancel your country as either a member of parliament or as a, as a president for let you renounce that and make you stand the right or the test of time for you to go through them processes and this. But what is clear again that the facts is when you are still a dual citizen, mm -hmm. you still have the right to cast your votes, to participate in the democratic process by, by exercising your franchise to vote. Okay. Yeah? Then again, it still gives you the right to make your own industries and factories or business investment in this country. Unlike before this time, that once you owe uh, 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 dual citizenship status outside Sierra Leone, then you cannot be allowed to even owe an investment in this country mm -hmm. because you'll be considered a citizen outside, I mean, you will be considered a non-citizen of Sierra Leone. Okay. So the amendment, again, in, 19, in 2006 has given you the leverage to be able to benefit from some other things outside the taxi you know go contest a member of parliament or become a president but every other um, aspect of enjoying the facilities of being a Sierra Leonean you can enjoy that with dual citizenship status save for the fact that you cannot enjoy the facility of being elected as a member of parliament and president I think now the exception be in the constitution where if we come to that effect when we look at them from that from that angle mm -hmm. then he makes that particular amendment ineffective when it comes to coming out for the position of being a member of parliament or president. But so, outside that, mm -hmm. that amendment that amendment is so effective that it gives you the right to owe an investment in the country and enjoy from other uh, facilities as Sierra Leonean. Right. And so, Mr. Lima, yeah, we know say no law, no day, not the whole world will go try for discriminate against a young citizens. You know, once somebody born in a country, uh, na day in mama day, in papa day, in grandparents, then they naturally will not say that person they get right to that country. And apart from that, the sure. incumbent APC government, we all know this is not a hidden thing. Everybody knows that plenty, plenty things that they would have done do way na in violation of the constitution, everything else in the country. And so when some when people and then are governors, I think say then they, they become role models role models and then for do things then for set good examples where they picking the way they look at them for able for emulate them for the future. And so but if they do then here then they go scot free, it not go tell well for the country because somebody else go come and say, you know what in APC been doam, not you know, Apple we self get for doam. So I want to ask this question, in case the SLPP form the next government at that country day, any plans they as to whether they for investigate the APC for all of the things they, they don't do for 10 years in that country where people then still they complain about them or we could just let them and then go scot-free? Um, that would be too early to say, um, <laughs> especially for um, the, when you take on the security implications into other issues. But what's in clear in a democracy is the mm -hmm. fact that uh, democracy gets in own principles when they talk about accountability and good governance. Mm -hmm. And so to be accountable means, say, you got to forgive a track record of your stewardship. Mm -hmm. And for like every other government survives, a need for takeover government on a better platform. And so we believe say, a democratic process requires uh, tolerance, it requires accountability mechanisms. Mm -hmm. And if that gets to be put into effect, then it's not going to be based on the view of witch hunting, but rather it's, it's for, for make we able to get the democratic um, um, structure of the country on a better footing for push the country go before. So for make any categorical statement on that, mm -hmm. I think say, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, somehow prudent for the security, for the peace and security of this country and for the peaceful coexistence of this country at the moment. But what is clear is the fact that every democratic governance requires transparency and accountability in the process. And so, and so, uh, Mr. Lima, at this point, uh, waiting the SLPP as a political party go say about the candidacy of somebody like a Kande Kole Yom Kela, you know, you don't go to the National Electoral Commission, they say he is okay to contest the election. What does the SLPP say about that? 
What is clear is the fact that Kanda Yumkela is a citizen of Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. And then born in this country, in Mama Papa and Sierra Leoneans, and you cannot deny him the citizenship status of Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. What is also clear is the fact that Section 761A of the Constitution is saying that you cannot be qualified to be elected as a member of parliament or even as president when you look at other, uh, when you look at the ramifications of other provisions. Mm -hmm. But again, it also gives you the window or the, 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 the opportunity for me you present an evidence of renunciation of whatever allegiance you owe to any other country, we will give you the opportunity for exercise your citizenship right to the effect of you being elected as a member of parliament and as a president of the country. And so we are saying that Kanda Yumkela in status as a citizen of this country, nobody no go deny him that and you cannot make him stateless as a Sierra Leonean. Mm -hmm. Also, what we go encourage him for do that the facts say let it present an evidence of renunciation of allegiance where it go to any other country. And once you do that, it's sufficient enough for make it be qualified for participate in the electoral process of this country, for be elected as a member of parliament and also as president. Well, as far as we know, I think say it don't submit a document in that regard. So now that make way, I be ask that question. Uh, it don't do, it don't uh, submit a document of denunciation. It don't denounce in citizenship now United States. And so based on that one, the the neck uh, say a uh, qualify for run. So is the SLPP agreeing with? And once with, the, mm -hmm. once the neck, the National Electoral Commission, we now the principal ele uh, electoral management body mm -hmm. say they are okay. Mm -hmm. They're okay with the documents or the evidence so far. We Dr. Kanda Yumkela don't present. Mm -hmm. Then he stand qualified contest as member of parliament and even as mem as president of the republic whoever now thinks that he's not satisfied with the decision of neck accepting mm -hmm. uh, the evidence presented by dr kanda yumkela then uh, in right for going to court but right. if you're going to court we equally so again we encourage the judiciary for a dispense justice because this country is run or is based on the principles of democracy freedom and justice and therefore justice cannot be selective to favor one person as against the other. So one thing we know that the fact that the principal EMB, when the electoral management body, when a neck don't satisfy, satisfy with the evidence presented by Dr. Kanda Yumkela, then he stand worthy for contest as member of parliament and as president also by implications. Whoever not satisfied, the court is open up to him to, to seek the face of the court. But we believe, say, if neck don't satisfy the man, say, we okay with whatever I don't present, then he stand worthy for contest. All right. Of course, as always, that now Mr. Lahai Lawrence Lima, the National Publicity Secretary for the SLPP, the main opposition political party in Sierra Leone, and of course, the oldest political party in Sierra Leone. Uh, Mr. Lima, as always, we want to tell you plenty, plenty thank you for your wisdom, for your knowledge, and for the information we share with you today. Thank you so much. Now, it's a pleasure to talk to you now. Thank you, and I always have been all right, and so me uh, family uh, na Lahai Lawrence Lima na in talk to we over there, of course, uh, live from Freetown, Sierra Leone, on this same issue of dual citizenship. So I feel say we don't exhaust this particular issue today. Uh, we go open the lines right now. The phone numbers are up there in case you want for you know say something about everything we don't broadcast today. Uh, feel free to do that right about this time, of course. Um, the lines will continue to uh, remain open right about this time. Uh, but that that we were able for bring come to now today, uh, some of us are really very, very, you know, disappointed somehow in the fact that at this present time, two months to the general elections that we are here talking about dual citizenship. You know, now that one day some of you not able for understand, right? And so we'll get for stick around a little bit before we close down. In case you want for say something about this whole issue, feel free to do just that. All right? And so one small Sherex Broadcast Network coming to you live from uh, Studio Number 8, based in Houston, Texas. SBM AK Listen Open your eyes 
free your mind. Yeah, I can really smell the fear. And now they see these cars on them. I they also feel the pain. And I can relate with you. Salon people and they suffer. Only a small few they thief and they get richer. Salon people and they cry. And the leaders they don't really care. But these leaders they don't really fear. Over 80% people below poverty. But these people ain't too selfish. How you get mad just from the king and they sleep that kid? Because me a minister. That means that they are above the law. Because now me not the power. That means that you can't tell me shit. David Tambayon are the truth. Monologue. And they put in a tight place. David Tambayon are the voice. Monologue. And they really try to cut the voice. What it happen to democracy? What about freedom of speech? What it happen to me people left? Salon future, they get stacked. Kellogg's, hold on, let them lock me. I they talk the truth. When you talk true, they say not trouble. They can't for stats when they be locked me up. Now we smoke picking, not two years old. I look at your eyes, I see me picking. I swear to God. Tears run down my eyes. And I ask, hell, I really why? For not picking, now they talk. For the youth, I go die. Now me people, now me life, Lord. Then go only kill me. But me voice don't go take, Lord. Then go try for stop me. But me voice no go stop God Every time I they move Police want to pull me over For not bribe Then go kill me man Big people they piss the streets Can't get gallin in the streets Wait till I'm bitch So we caught your man Hey for no mama Me na streets na na streets Are they get me living ha! Teachers in the sleep of students Religious leaders And they worship devils Begin the cause Mommy cause And they think it cool Wait till I'm bitch So we caught your man I see close friends, they turn to foes. Foes, then they get closer. Forget the fame, forget the money, this not for me, people. If I don't make a difference, I go see me dead and equal. Every time I close my eyes, I defend them in dreams. I they always come on top to tell me it's not me dreams. They say me people and they fetch me. Now why me brother want for hurt me? You didn't take me name to Juju, why you want for do me for do why you know they believe in you, God, Lord. Salon people, let we get real. Let we open all we death is. Let we stop for vote for tribal reasons. You, 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 you from the South, I mean you SLPP. You from the North, I mean you APC. Let we never make the same mistake. Let we never vote for tribal sake. Now we the push the power and they turn to snakes. Waiting happen to cleaning day. Now government, we need for clean the place. Most kids tend to smell like feces. And now we sell to the use like pieces. Right, of course, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Sherrick's Broadcast Network coming to you live and direct from Houston, Texas. Of course, uh, we de entertain, uh, calls them in, in case you want to call right now and say something about the dual citizenship, whatever you want to say, it's about time for you to call in now. We get for Gee another 10 minutes just for that, you know, depending on how we get calls them in, we go left the line open. But if we don't get any calls, them in, of course, uh, we're going to try for close down. But some of them, we just want to say it's about time for the open with AI. Uh, with country, Sierra Leone, of course, we can never remain to be in this bad shape. You know, all other countries are laughing at us. You know, they look funny in the eyes of other people. We need for put two hands on deck for let this country move forward. Now, this now, the request we we get now so from Sherrick's Broadcast Network, all right? And so, um, okay, I did get a call coming in. So let's see who is calling right about this time. Hello? Hello? Yeah, is this um, Sherrick? Yeah, who is calling? 
Um, this is Dauda Van Gerhoen from Houston, Texas. Oh, I okay. Do and they do okay. And they do fine. Yeah. So you want to make a comment yeah. on the show? Yeah, I've been listening to the program. And uh -huh. First of all, I just want to say thank you to you, you know, and for the help of people learn for the sensitize them. You're welcome. Um, yeah, that's a good job done. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to take on a few points, you know. I just wish um, Lehman for long be the presidential candidate for SLPP. Okay. Because right. um, the question where you ask them um, really, mm -hmm. why Mother Bill mm -hmm. so silent as an opposition leader? Mm -hmm. There are so many things and they would only go on. Right. We would feel safe for them voice out. Mm -hmm. We would feel safe if I don't stand and, you know, able for oppose this regime with this kind of danger things they would then do in our country. Mm -hmm. Yes, but we're not see that they're gone. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's just unfortunate, you know. Right. Um, what's in the gone? Liman really a very, very um, good speaker. Yeah, to eloquent. What say. Mm -hmm. Yes, eloquent speaker, yeah. When you look at what happened by this uh, dual citizenship, mm -hmm. as you say, SLBP, they don't, I mean, APC don't, don't abuse the constitution for so long, for 10 years now. Right. So, Usama Rabi will be the way enable make a point over that. Well, you if know, now, well, you know, Mada Ma Ma say he not be get the platform at that time. He was not the presidential candidate. But how about the SLPP parliamentarians? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right. Yes, what about them people, Lendi? Mm -hmm. But even if you not be B, if you not be get the, 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 the presidential um, um, symbol, I mm. mean, um, candidacy by then, mm -hmm. you for don't do for law if you right. say you come for can rule the party. Mm -hmm. All these things, they go on. Right. Then what thing are you take on where S, um, APC abused the constitution also by, you know, kicking the, 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 the vice president? What thing are you take on that? Right. You know, so many things, and they don't they go on for these past 10 years, you know. Nobody mm -hmm. knows they would oppose this government. Well, you know, another make way we ask them the question, in case SLPP win, you they left, then one day everything, what they don't do, men and go scot-free, or you get for do investigation, even if not to for punish anybody, but just investigate, let them know what's happen. Exactly. So, so no other person will go with Peter. That question where you ask them, so I, bet you, I wish, you know, uh, Lima for don't day online, you know, it'll follow up this program, mm -hmm. you know. Right. How you, 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 as an opposition party, things like this, they go on and you take power out. Uh, you talk about, you know, the platform of, you know, democracy, you know, the form of you take it. Okay, that's fine. But then people are going to forget account for what they don't do. Mm -hmm. They get forget account of that. Right. They get for, they, you know, because like the question we ask, and that means. Now, 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 just like a passport for any other government, so they can like, mm -hmm. they do what they want, and you know, nobody not get for check on them, right? So then they do what they want, mm -hmm. exactly. Just the question we ask, right? So this therefore go on like a cost, like a custom. Anybody mm -hmm. go come and rule after they don't rule down, you know, then do what they and suffer the people and then misuse government funds, misuse government property. Now, so they left both, right? You know, this is not the question. Well, yeah. So now this will go continue. But again, you know, um, when you look at this whole thing, um, the people them also contribute greatly for this way this country are they go. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, my brother. Well, you know, it's, Nana it's make like, you Nana know, make with the politicians then they step on education because when the people are educated, they're not they allow anybody for use them that way. You see what they happen in Ghana. You get Ghana then get large amount of the population educated somehow beyond high school. So it's not go easy for manipulate Ghanaians them, you know, but Sierra Leone is not like that's, that. So we need like for that. work that's on true. education, right? The, yes, that's true. I, I agree on I agree on that point. We really, really need for work on education system. Mm -hmm. I go this um this past year, two thousand and um um I mean um, yes, this um last year I go na talk. Mm -hmm. I go na FBC, you know, one of the major, you know, um institutions that I can't mm -hmm. Can you imagine? They not get um, um, how you call it, like a computer lab. <laughs> they don't even get internet, you know, cafe na the na the na the na the um university. Right. Students and you, and you know, you know, like we will say, uh, Mr. Vanga, like we will say, education 
not only not the four walls of the cl classroom, like what you would do now, so this is education right here. You know, they can go out on the TV, on the radio, that's civic education for teach salon people and make them know what's in their rights, what's in their roles, then as, as citizens. You know, so nobody not going to take advantage of them. Now, that one day with government, they know they do. So people and they in darkness. Right now, when politics don't come, then they can use them back, you know? So that's what is going on. We'll get for break that cycle. Mm -hmm. We'll get for break. I mean, it's really, really soulful, man. You know, yeah. when you go, when you look at the people, and the way people learn, the suffering what people and they go through, mm -hmm. and yet still, like you say, people and say no educate right. for no say na suffering and they are. Right. Now I can't you see man they suffer. I say left them they miss let eat. You day you know they buy eat. Mm -hmm. Then the people and then they buy eat. Yeah. Then you glad the back say let them eat. Eh? Then All your right. family they suffer. <laughs> Yeah, well, Mr. Vanga, I want to tell you plenty. Thank you for your time. We appreciate your call. So, you're in Houston, you're with me, right? Yes, of course, uh, Mr. Sheriff. Um, I myself, you know, I tell you thank you. You know, mm. um, this program we do mm. a very, very educated program, you know, thank and you. um, it educates a lot of people them out there, you know, not yeah. all relent what you do, just keep the strength. Mm -hmm. And um, God will continue for bless you. Let nobody not shut you down. Right. And let nobody not intimidate you for make you, you know, stop this program, you know. Thank you Just very much. Just keep far going. And God will continue for guide you. And God will continue for bless you with resources. Thank you, you know? so much. Thank you um, so much. I hope, say, one day again, we will meet up. And um, I believe, say, we will talk more. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Thank That's you. the caller, Mr. Van Gahon. Of course, uh, I don't even know if I'm into dinner at the same Houston, but... We'll see. Me and to go we'll see, right? So, family, if you want for call for profile your views, you can call. The lines are open. The numbers are up there. All right. So, we we'll get for this small time again for let we continue for uh, listening to uh, music and of course wait for your call. Stick around. All right. Would we'll it get a call? Would we'll it get a call? Hello, Hello. Sherrick's Broadcast Network. Yes, Richard, right? Yeah, this is uh, Richard. Okay. Brother, yes, thank you very much for the program. Thank I you. very much. Thank you. The only thing I'm listening to the interview, the interview with Lima mm -hmm. and this, this very interview was very, very good. Both of them, your own problem. Mm -hmm. SLPP presently at the main opposition. Mm -hmm. Any guy we talk on the main opposition. Mm -hmm. APC still evaluates the... Uh, as, uh, the uh, the constitution mm -hmm. presently we have ministers that wait and still they investigate them properly and to assess the regime where SLPP made a voice the voice the issues and they out if possible take the issue go to the Supreme Court as if they say just now if anybody feel aggrieved with kind of issue they can go to the Supreme Court and get right as opposition for take the issue go to the Supreme Court because APC still gets uh, ministers then that are Dual citizen, we are not saying anything about that. Then, okay, if you don't value the act, then they okay, then say because I'm not doing a parliament. But however, the law is the law, even if you don't pass, mm -hmm. they will for revisit her, mm -hmm. they will for uh, revisit her and try why make the breach uh, the law mm -hmm. and try to put a uh, redress. We don't take money from the consolidated fund and others and so forth. Some laws that way, so to say, there will be a, a constitutional problem, a crisis in the entire country, but I seem to say the law and the law. So, mm. somehow, opposition has Leone, they're so, 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 so weak. They're so weak. Mm. Everybody, they try to concentrate on your area, at least we can forget what you said. Right. Your uh, interest. Mm. Nobody fights for the populism of the country. But several breaches are we don't abuse the constitution in several ways, like this was citizenship. One last some of which are affected all there. Those some of who not get the intention for any political position. But however, if you differentialize the Australian brothers that went down some man down, left the house here in mortgage house, he left the house for mm -hmm. for family now, left in job, say the good family at the end of the day, they say no, you know, do a citizen. Right. Why they know they do to them, don't they do the thing? They're talking, they'll raise up now. Take the issue to the court, make the court able for redress and try for test the constitution. If they don't believe the court say okay, I say for B, why they be breached uh, they be breach the constitution, uh then for the for uh, the court for give penalties, definitely. They will right. take that particular issue, they were done the breach. Mm -hmm. So whatever situation, okay, that is a no case map. But now I don't need to map before, mm -hmm. but don't create several laws 
where they could not get several money from the consolidated funds. It is for what kind of thing for uh, address everything, say, or some aspect of finding for address that. That don't go to say, oh, that's what we try. Mm-hmm. But they just sit down, they relax, be like the statement they talk of you. If they try for self, you say, forgetting that, in the for effect for Sierra Leone, not for individually, right. because yeah, they are leaders. Because himself not believe. Instead of not believing what he will say, but he will say because you know you want for let the crowd then feel say then they will turn. But anyway, yeah, exactly. that is what is going on in Sierra Leone. It's rather unfortunate, but that's what we have. Until we break that cycle, you know, we get for break the cycle. Somebody radical get for break that cycle for less alone go able for go before. But Richard, sure, one sure, for sure, telling you plenty, plenty. Thank you for your time. Okay, my brother. Yeah, yes, please. At least keep up the program. At least it's mm-hmm. very, very educative. At least. Yeah. Definitely, we appreciate the efforts. All Thanks right. very much, my brother. Thank you so much. Stay blessed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. And from them, of course, uh, we they left the lines open. Of course, before we go tonight, we'll get for bring you answer to the quiz. We'll be given now. Of course, we'll get for bring that answer. But for now, we want for may you stick around as we continue for bringing you the program. Stick around with us. And they have always told us all politics is local except when they need money to run the elections. 
that's when politics becomes global. It is time we take advantage of that. It is time we stand up and tell these people, you are not going to come to America, take our money, and then you stop on us. Right, of course, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Sherrick's Broadcast Network. So now, so we get for come to the end of this program. But before we end the program, I want to remind you about the quiz we've been given the last time. And the quiz was when was the Sierra Leonean Parliament built? When was the Sierra Leonean Parliament built? That was the quiz uh, last week. And of course, today we'll bring come back up. We'll be the express you know somebody will come up with an answer to that quiz but we not don't get an answer you know from anybody so uh it is rather uh necessary that we therefore bring the answer to the quiz right about this time of course uh, we hope say everything that go on as planned and that uh, you enjoy the programs that will bring come to now today uh we really really they think in that regard of course, uh, uh, Sherrick's Broadcast Network, like I would know, this is how we do things. And of course, hopefully, uh, you guys are enjoying what we are doing here. Of course, uh, so the quiz was, when was the Sierra Leonean Parliament built? And the answer to that quiz is April 26, 1961. Neither officially opened Parliament in Sierra Leone for the very first time. So we'll say now inside 1961, April 1961, or we'll say now inside 1961 they build the parliament, right? So next week we will try for brain calm the same question again, uh, or some other question we will bring and come up uh, next week. You know, for level they just uh, try with memories them. Level they, you know, uh, check yourself for no what we know about uh, the country or we call our own country. Uh, Sierra Leone, right? So we'll try that next week. And so, um, you know, the answer to the question or to the quiz is the answer to the quiz is uh, 1961, April 26, 1961. When I know, say, the the Adam Column. The independence of Sierra Leone took place in Shantendong Kambako, the Kabudu Dong Grappa. Inside a Kabudu Day, the good one and day, and the bad one and bad day. And we all know how we can't right. on them. So before we then, we get for just uh, a walk straight to the tower. So, now you want to know if you can get the bed or you can sleep on You will wear your suits, and you will know if you get bored. We the people and then get for help with safe now. If we vote for good leader, we get love for the country and the people of Salon. We all go better. If we vote man, we come for can't take take. Well, he left to me. Now we get for the farm. I have a evil vote in my life. I go Ibam this time. I sweat to my life. If I know I have a vote in my life, I go vote this time. I sweat to my life. Rank a politician, all the can ruin my life. Salon too sweet, so I enjoy my life. I am Peter, and all the can ruin my life. Salon too sweet, so I enjoy my life. Me vote in my life, me vote in my life. Yeah. Me one dream vote for two tapas. Me vote in my life, me vote in my life. Yeah. Me one dream vote for one bad rest. Me vote in my life, me vote in my life. Yeah. Me say because we born a Makini. Hey, hey. Me vote in my life, me vote in my life. Yeah. Because we born a kenema I want to make a lot of money Make a lot Talk to me when I'm here Match my content and talk to you on the motor Tell the people Say it as soon as I'm going to the back I'm going to go to the back I'm going to go to the back I'm going to go to the back Tell me when I'm here Tell me when I'm here Tell me when I'm here Me put in my life, me 
Right, right, ladies and gentlemen, you get for votes for your life. Of course, you vote now your life, uh, Emma Sin and all the other musical artists. Them, one for telling them plenty, plenty. Thank you for the time and for everything we then they do for our country. Uh, you know, Sierra Leone, it don't reach a point where we get for put with hands on deck for ensure say this country are able for go forward. So any backward mentality, any backward act or activity we then we then put under the country. We for fair time, we for all for fair time together for ensure say it not happen. And so at this point, I want for take uh, the time before we close down for say thank you to all the one that we uh, we watch with today, we view uh, you know we, we broadcast and of course we make comments. Uh, you know we get a few of them. I will go able for name. Of course, uh, we want for start with uh, who. Uh, Mr. Abdul Kai Samba, of course, a watch with from London. Of course, Tamba Brahima, one for tell you plenty, thank you. Fali Luba, uh, Kamara Mustafa Mohammed, of course, Momo Takavandi, Asinu Mansare, uh, Bokari Samabanya, one for tell now plenty, thank you. Of course, uh, Mimandina Berlin, Germany, one for say a lot of thanks to you, Mr. Samabanya. Of course, I owe you a call. You and me, you two, for talk on some things, you know, uh, business. Of course, uh, my own sister, Christina Songa, thank you so much for watching. Bemba Fofana, uh, Civixin K, I mean Civixin S. Kane. I know that I'm in my way in North Carolina. Bemba Fofana, thank you so much. Uh, Kani F. Sako, thank you so much, guys. And of course, uh, Abi Ali, uh, Victor Lamin, Abdurrahman Bangura, uh, Bemba Fofana, one for telling all plenty, plenty, thank you. Abi Ali, of course, Frank Malik. Of course, I Ibrahim Vandi. Thank you so much. Uh, Anthony Sisse. I know say Anthony be the right side, but cool. But one for tell you, thank you for all your comments there, you know. Uh, Aminata Tenefo. Thank you. Thank you. You know, Mickey T. Eva Kroma. Of course, Fatou Nyale. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Anthony Sisse. You know, thank you so much, Mr. Brahma Masiba. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Of course, my own Tegloma president, they on, they on too. Teresa Shikumbi Momo, thank you for watching. Mr. Samuel Elbangura, that's the treasurer of Tegloma in Houston. Thank you, sir. Geneva Johnson Kamara, of course, one for tell you plenty, plenty, thank you. You know, Jerifa Ba, Idris Abwani, of course, uh, Juliet Messi Sandy, Juliet, Ju, Juliet Messi Sandy. Thank you, thank you very much. Of course, Mohamed Kone, Siatamba, Junior Kome. Hey, so my man, Junior, the watcher. Uh, thank you very much, man. Kabiru Kebs, of course, thank you so much. Ali P. Z. Kamara, you know, Richard S. James, thank you, Richard. Of course, Kawusu Kont, I mean, Kawusu Sharif, thank you, that's my brother. Of course, uh, Alareni Shaw and Eunice, as you say, one for telling plenty, plenty, thank you for when we watch Sharif's broadcast network again. We'll go there next week, and as topics and they unfold, that's so they do things, right? Now we'll get with journalists on the ground, they are getting ready to provide us with live coverage of the elections, all right? But if you get a chance, go now gofundme.com slash sbn support fund gofundme.com now for take pen write this if you like what you would talk take pen and write it now gofundme.com slash sbn support fund go there like now one dollar you get put on the you know, they were brothers and with the back. If you want to watch the election, and they would send this money to, right? Then get family, then SF. Drop something in the bucket right there. You know, you know, I left behind. This is not diaspora business. See, right now, when I don't see the one for pool whip and salon, so we get for stand together on this. You know, we're not going to let Fangi one person, you know? You know, so all them call the old, they may call the old, they talk to family and the money with the spend. You know, we're not the complaint. We love what we are doing. But if you go able to help, we go ahead and do that gofundme.com slash sbn support fund all right all right my family i want for tell now plenty plenty thank you once more ibrahim sharif coming to you from houston texas i want for say thanks thank you very much Shantan don't come back home the kabudu don't grab back inside a kabudu day the good one and day and the bad one and bad day and we all know how we can't be done day now if it's sweet, our. If it's sour, 